it's it's hey. more complicated than that. Oh. Hey, hail, greetings. Hey, salutations. Yeah, I remember I purposefully tried to have as high of intellect as possible. Hello, hello. Oh, I gotta. I have like map tools. <laughs> Oh, Either way, I get an ability score increase anyway with this level up, right? Nope. Yes. No, sorry. Yeah, I keep thinking we're level eight for some reason. Yeah. No, it's it's fine. It's uh fourth, eighth, twelfth, sixteenth. Uh unless you're a fighter. Unless you're a fighter, because you get like eight of them. Yes, you do. <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I literally did not know that until last night. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, that's how they make up for bonus feats from previous editions. Hmm. And fourth level cleric spells are like whoa, not not. Lily awesome. Peach, you thanks for the gifted subs. Whoa, I bet they are. Hang on, you just gotta find I, the like, good ones. Banishment is cool, but like control water or like death ward. Uh, banishment's pretty sick though. I mean, banishment's awesome. Like that's the one I'm gonna pick. So I don't yeah. need anything else. But like, there's really not. Oh wow, there's only like eight. There's really not a lot. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Um. Uh, freedom oh, of man. movement. Freedom of movement is good because it's not a concentration spell and it's a buff. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, um, guardian of Guardian of Faith is pretty sick because uh, it uh, it does a set amount of damage. It does twenty damage, so you don't have to roll for it. And also, you could make it take the form of an even bigger mug. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, true too. Guardian of Faith. About, I'll keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, and then when we oh, come hi. back, we'll make sure you guys... Can you guys hear me? Like, I've been... Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, good. We were just really wrapped up in life. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Two seconds here, and then we can we can get going. Uh, I really wanted to grab Conjure Minor Elementals, but then I realized it has right, a one-minute cast time. Suddenly really had to go. Oof. I don't know. I want to yeah. conjure some ice cream, but I don't. I just, I'm just not ready for it. <laughs> uh, when are you gonna? But if not now, then when? I'm Joe? thinking probably like you know, 60 to 70 minutes in, it'll be ice cream time. I just finished okay. dinner. I'm not, I'm not a like dessert right after dinner kind of dude. I gotta wait. Same, same, same. I, I feel you. No, just gorge it all at once. Wow, I get sick if I do that. Yeah, I get a I tummy like ache. Yeah. No. <laughs> Eat. You can no, get no, no. consume. No, fuck that. You could you could get divination. Honestly, is if, that if a, what would, flavor is that? Um mm. delicious god flavor. Yeah. Oh, I see. Ambrosia flavor. Mm -hmm. I you know I thought about it, but I don't know that I have contact with Seco Cues in this in this realm. So You don't. You don't. Yeah, that's um true. but provided all goes well, we won't be stuck here forever. That's true. <laughs> you, you could also re learn spell i don't know how it works yeah for oh i just i prepare it once every long rest i can choose an entirely different set of spells yeah oh it's, wait it's pretty cool don't you learn every fourth level spell uh-huh i just yeah, have cleric. to prepare them on a long rest mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah clerics learn everything whenever they level up so they don't have to learn them like arcane spells yeah i would if it was me it like if you're frustrated with your damage i would definitely get guardian of faith um, I'm usually not, I'm not frustrated with my damage if, if I don't roll like an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, you don't well, send three guiding bolts into the ground. Yeah. Well, that and that thing had 21 AC, which that's is true. absolutely that's, nothing to sneeze at. That's one of the reasons I wanted to get Conjure Minor Elemental, because one of the elementals you can conjure actually lowers AC. Dang. That's pretty good. That but it's one of those. is a bummer. Yeah, so it I'm has back. to be like. Hi. Hello. Hello. Because a minute's not a full round, right? It's eight rounds or something. A minute is ten rounds. rounds. A minute is ten yeah. rounds. So you gotta like, I have to. I would have to like cast that before the fight started. Yeah. How long does it last? An hour. Hey, you can just have it follow you around. That's true. I could. It'd be your stone, homie. Hmm. Well, what, it's actually it's not one. It'd be eight elementals. It'd be your stone army. <laughs> That's the squad. Yeah. Yeah. And if it was air elementals, it'd be an air me. <laughs> All right. For, just for that bad pun, I'm doing it now. Uh, oh, right, well. Oh, my God. There you go. Goodbye, polymorph. Hello. Conjure. Minor. Dude. Elementals. <laughs> All right. If and you're going to. Me. If you're going to take a summon spell, then uh, make sure you have all their statistics and everything ready so that whenever you summon them, it doesn't take 
20 minutes. I was going to say, what all do I need to provide you for summoning them? Well, uh, go here. Start getting everything that you need made um, if you're going to actually use them as summons. Like, search the beast area. Let's just look them up normally. And then, uh, I could teach you to make a token, but I could also do it. I just can't do it right now, because, you know, I don't, I, yeah. Like, it, you could, you could just be a cactus. You could just be eight cactuses. Oh, no, I can, <laughs> I can make the token, but I just need to have all the statistics in front of me so I can make them quickly. Okay, I'll just have that ready then. Yeah, yeah, just make sure that when you cast it, you're ready, and you can tell me things like what their HP is, all that good stuff. Efficiency. Alrighty. You guys done leveling or you need a little more time? I'm good. I'm good. I have a chance good. to swap my spells, right? As though this is a long rest. Yep. Okay. I don't know if I want to swap anything in on third or second level, but it's good yeah, to know. I took I took my um I took my new maneuvers. So I know two new, two more maneuvers now. Dang. Yep. Mmm. That's a lot of maneuvers. Yeah. Somebody is somebody in my chat was like because i was talking about how the one ability i get for fighter for this level is really bizarre and kind of boring and they were like oh you do get two more maneuvers though and i was like i do and they're like yeah i looked it up and i actually do i get another dice and then two more maneuvers so dang yeah yeah that's fighters like fighters op yeah. dog fighters are really good at one thing what uh fight <laughs> what maneuvers yeah. did you go with uh, I went with precision attack and disarming attack. So now I can disarm people. And I, if this is, I was sort of bummed I didn't take precision attack before. So precision attack doesn't add any damage, but I can add a oh, D8 I know. to, oh yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was down. Lakari's like favorite, like, uh, yeah. maneuver. <laughs> What's yeah, precision? It's real, real good. So I'm, I'm, I've got a good, a good smorgasbord of maneuvers. Mmm. Well, I do like a smorgasbord of kicking ass. Yeah, yeah. Got a whole bunch of options. Mm. Shove them right down your craw, so order up. <laughs> F. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Am I back? I, I accidentally fucking revealed every homebrew option on 5e tools and I don't know how to make them go away. <laughs> my back? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, yes, you're back. You're back. Oh, uh, you just go to the you go to the books on the side uh where the charts are and you just click off the books. You could also just reload the site, I think. I don't think it saves that. It did. Fuck. I'll figure <laughs> it out. Fuck. All right, let's see. Uh which which bard were you again, sir? Swords. The best one. Swords. Uh, see, do you get maneuvers? I can't remember how what swords gets. They get blade flourishes. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I did not get new ones. I think you always have them all. Oh, okay. What'd you get this level? A spell. All right. Do you get, do you get fourth level spells this level? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Neat. Fourth level Think bard get, spells, like, baby. Oh, yeah. Dimension door. I'm about to go home. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to go oh, home. Yeah, you think you think guy was leaving before? Get ready. He's about to instantaneously leave. Yeah. Guide door. <laughs> Guide door. Like, you know the, the, the meme of the guy throwing up the deuces and then just disappearing? That's what the guy right there. <laughs> Oh, I'm surrounded. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by oh. the way, I was up to the north fighting seven of them by myself, and I teleported back to you. Seven, seven. Seven, 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 seven. I did want to ask, um, just so I can get, like, an idea of how long an hour is, how long would you say we've been in this tooth so far? Uh, let's see. Fifteen rounds, recovery, we took a short searching, rest. short rest. Probably been here roughly six hours. I'd say. Okay. Okay. Not too long. Really? Yeah. It's the longest I've ever uh, been in. I thought it would be way less than that. Well, it's a short rest. I think that added most of that time. Well, you spent. Well, you short spent, rest is half an hour. No. Right? Well, half an hour to an hour. 
Uh, you spend okay. an hour, and then you said, and then you spend several minutes searching with investigation. Uh, now, just because okay. we don't, just because we don't say you spend several yeah, minutes searching, yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't mean that time doesn't pass. So, true. Okay. I guess I guess six hours might be too much. Probably more like four, but definitely several hours. Uh. Alrighty, everybody, good. Yeah, yeah give, right. give us the I swap my stalls. I'm feeling good. All right. Well, last time on Shattered Crowns, our heroes uh, fought this fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Boy, did the we The yawning ever. plague. Boy, did we. Uh, after a a hard and ugh, overwhelming fight, they came out on top and were able to defeat the yawning plague. And now, did you guys leave? Or are you guys still in here? I can't remember. We're in here. Yeah. Still here? Okay. Not yet. Okay, you guys, yet you have yet to leave. So they just leveled, and now I believe we have some inter-character development to get through. Some development? Yes, some development. So uh, go ahead, guys. Uh, all right, everybody. I, I think we need to have a, a bit of a conversation about the whole everything happening, trying to kill us situation we keep finding ourselves in. Yeah, that's not really a new true. thing, is it? Yeah, I don't think that's very new. new. I think that's just kind of been going. Well, I'd like to point out the escalation that you may not remember. Earlier today, you shot a fireball at Scrumpo. That was I... today. Well, <laughs> and then yes, he entered yeah. this cavern, and I don't know, but there was a there was a cave in. Wow, that actually did happen today. It was today, and and uh, now we're here, <laughs> and you summoned a, I don't know, a, a plaque demon. Uh, well, that's his, how is it? In his defense, he, that thing existed. It was probably summoned by you. But you're the, I, you're so the one I that brought it in here. Party. I didn't want to do it. Well, but you no, did it. I'm, I'm just saying. Actually, it's, I think that it was one is actually by, not his fault. I think it was summoned by not brushing enough. <laughs> that's true. That's, that's probably fair. It's truly if we, yeah, if I suppose we do go back as well. The We're point I'm trying to make is that we need to set some ground rules at the very least so this doesn't keep happening three times a day. Too many. Too many times. Okay, and what do you propose? I, I propose, and now we've all had our kerfuffles. Uh, you know, Scrumpo <laughs> did stab that man. I didn't like him very much. And he was a jerk. Well, I, I, I wanted to talk to him. Huckleberry exploded the forge, and I'll that. admit I did there. drink that turkey's blood. But again... <laughs> I don't know why that turkey had demon blood. Wait, it was demon blood? Uh, no, it was, um, I think it's the Bane of Man. Bane of Man uh, blood. I mean, how was the blood? Was it good? Wait, hold on. When I was dead, I saw the Bane of Man in space. What you doing in space? Oh, shit. I exa exactly. See, yeah. what, I, what I want to bring up is I think Big Pipe's a plant put here by the government. Well, I think he's a oh. The Elven <laughs> government. Think about it. Now, please, everyone, join along with me. Get in the boat for one moment. Sure, yeah, I'm on board. If I'm you all here. remember, I'm in the and boat I, knew, I know you all remember the law. The yeah. Scarab war Lords have been at war for eons, and we have inherited this war. And I, with my own eyes, I'm not a lawyer or anything, but I did witness a Scarab Lord shoot a fireball at four other Scarab Lords. Oh my god. Wait. Well, to Wait. be fair, I really only shot at one other Scarab Lord. Yeah, I, I mean, to be fair, it was directed at Scrumpo. You just happened to be close. It's a fireball. It explodes in a large radius. I, I guess I just happened to be in the tooth when it collapsed. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I, to see what I'm getting here is no one has... No one is, Everyone's okay. This is, this is all going according to plan. You you like being on this whale. Uh, yeah. I don't love it's it. It's bad. I mean, it's not the, it's, it's definitely not ideal, but I'll be honest, I definitely prefer this so far over to the uh, political to life in the other place. Kings? Yeah, You're that's... Mean, we were kings? <sighs> I, didn't even, I, I didn't even really get to be a sheriff yet. Do you Wait. remember? Do you remember why we went to even go fight those pirates in the first place? We weren't gonna fight them. We were gonna meet with the leader because he's cool. 
Does that sound cool to everyone? By yeah. show of hands? But only because they're pirates. Hands? Anyone else? Scrumpo raises his hand. Yeah. Huck, okay. Huck, huck kind of <laughs> All right. I see you needed some some pushing, but w I don't think we were using our powers as lords appropriately. We're not thinking things through. We're trying to kill ourselves at an alarming rate. We had a teleportation circle that could go anywhere in the world, and we went to go fight some fucking pirates. <laughs> yeah. I mean, where else would we go? And look. They was on. pointing to the plane of fire. We could infiltrate the, when, the dwarven vault. When have we ever? Hold, 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 hold. He, he effed. Hold on. God damn it! I'm missing everything. Are you back? You're back. Oh, I'm back. so back. sorry. Go ahead. Please continue. Start you, over. Uh, where did I eff? Uh, uh, you effed it about. Um, we could have gone anywhere, but we went to go we, fight we, pirates. <laughs> we could have been a thrower. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we could have gone anywhere. We we could have gone to the plane of fire. We could have gone to the dwarven vault. We could have done anything in the whole world, but we did a peasant's job to go fight pirates. Listen, first of all, we couldn't. There's no way we could have gotten to that vault. It's probably protected. Also, the plane of fire would have immolated all of us. That's not how the plane of fire works. What? Have you been there? Hey, it's where my mixtape is. Sorry. <laughs> I give you that. That's a good one. Uh, excellent. Please continue. Uh, all I'm getting at is our decision making has not been consistent, and I, I want some assurances that we're not all going to die because of the brazen actions of another. <clears throat> Are you trying to insinuate something? I, three times one day hard to argue, friend. You have a point, but we've learned so much. Uh, what have think we of the opportunities so sure that we, we Think of the opportunities that have happened because of this. We're on a giant space whale. You, you think our little teleporter could have taken us to a giant space whale? It could have. That's the thing. It, it really could have done that. Uh, maybe. If we knew where the whale was, we never contacted any star seers, anything like that. We didn't even try. We went p pirates. Didn't you build a, uh, what are they called? Arcanium, something like that? Oratory. Or yeah, oratory. Yeah, we did. Did you ever even step foot in it? No, we were going Not to do that after now. the pirates. <laughs> See, also, I want to bring up, when I drank the blood of the turkey, I saw in visions that the, you know, the glowing man in the sky, he, the man. Yeah, whatever he is, he particularly wants something that's underneath our city, like a soul, a, fo a, a forged soul, I don't know. It's really powerful, and we just, we went to go deal with pirates. You didn't say that. Well, that would have well, been some I mean, nice I, I remember a guy saying he wanted an undead lab, and everyone was like, no, that's evil. But if someone here were to ask for a, a centaur lab, well, that would sound <laughs> just fine, wouldn't it? Wait, what? It, I didn't want it because it would smell awful. Hey, I don't want no centaur well, that, lab. Don't you think that what kind of there? hurtful to me and undead? I think you smell great. Well, exactly. Uh, Why would an undead lab smell bad? That's like if I said a smurf, a smurf devil in lab would be bad. <laughs> well, the thing is that most experimentations would probably not take place on a very handsome vampire spawn. Right? Well, why not? I would be overseeing the whole thing, of course. So you're going to like, you know, like a, a collection of other handsome and or sexy vampire men or what? ladies. Have you ever seen a vampire that wasn't sexy? No. <laughs> and you really think this undead lab would have smelled? You see, your line of thought is very racist. Look, I don't think I wasn't thinking any of that through. I, I didn't even want to be in court. I and hate precisely, court. you tried to give away our Navy. Yeah. <laughs> we need a structured decision making plan for the next time, you know, we might something might come up all right so so then what's what's the current goal yeah maybe if we had sort of an overarching you know plan, my my goal was to get the fuck off this whale oh, yes, oh, yeah i think we're all in agreement hold on so, yeah i, I think we all want to get off the whale so why are we in this tooth 
Wait. Because we're trying to help them so that they'll help no, us. No, oh. we're trying to leave. Fuck these people. They're worthless. Look, here's what we know so far, okay? That guy at the mouth is in charge of the university that oversees this thing's brain. We know that, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sure. And also, we have that purple stuff that is apparently will able to teleport somebody off of this whale as evidenced by that shopkeeper, yes? Correct. And then there's that ship that has cut a hole in the whale's stomach that it, it purportedly came from space. And needs a crystal in order to charge it. Yes. A violet one. Uh... By coming here, we just have opened the door to using the university to get off of the whale. So? Be because we helped him. All we really need to do is help the university out a bit, take a quick little gander at a prism, figure out how to turn it into a violet prism. Sure, yeah. Shove it into the ship, and we're gone. So, yeah. really, anything that doesn't support uh, that objective, yeah, it's right out. It's great that we've established that, because imagine this scenario, okay? We're stepping on the ship, we can see home through a magical space telescope or some sort. I don't know how these things work. Sure. And behind us, all the people are screaming on fire. The whale is turning upside <laughs> down. Yeah, Do we on. stop to save them? I feel, wait, I feel why like would, we're missing a few steps here. Why would that be happening behind? Why would the Why would the whale be upside I'll, down? This why is would a it hypothetical. Be on fire? It, what if this I know this is to happen? I know. Okay, why you're talking about me endangering the party. This is you want to join a cult. I wanted wait. to kill the cult, and that was he when did. I thought this place was cool. But then I drank the right. blood and I got fat. <laughs> on the record, I was on board with the cult thing. Uh, me too. But look, just because we helped this guy doesn't mean we can't do that. I, I'm right. just saying, I, I don't want us to get sidetracked right when we're meeting our goal. It's the ship home. <laughs> How long have you been with this group? Too long, that's why I'm concerned. Yeah, okay, there what you go. All what right. do you mean too so, long? So let's, go, let's go cash in the dentist bill and then go find the cult or whatever. Go go search for the prism and get let's, the fuck well, What does the cult have to do with the prism? We, we don't care about the cult anymore. It's oh, get to the ship figure out exactly what we need to do to leave, and if all these people die while we're gone, we won't even know about it. Okay! <laughs> Why are they gonna I'm die? In. Why would they die? Have you seen this place? I mean, yeah, yes, but pretty messed up. The psionic to... eruptions? The, the, I'm trying the to understand how we are going to be involved with the flipping of the whale. We're not involved. I'm saying oh. if it comes up, we don't get distracted and we leave. Listen. How are, we we gonna launch, how are we going to launch the boat? We got to go turn it, upside right? down. Let's just go talk to the fancy pants mage and... Yeah, let's do that. Oh, uh, Scrumpo, before we go... Yeah. I took a nap and uh, come here. Wait, hold on. I wanted to ask you something, friend. Okay. What is it that you need to do on Calcatesh? I've got a lot of things to make up for. Yeah, if you know what I, I mean? Know. You know, life of debauchery. There's just there's just some things that I need to tie up in the short time I have left. Now, if you just for a moment, uh, Ikar puts his hand on Scrumpo's shoulder and cast Remove Curse. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, crack that open. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, we're at the can of whoop ass that just heard. Okay. Unfortunate. Um, can can you snap the view to because I'm still seeing space. Can you snap the view to our tokens? You got it. Thanks. Hey, there we are. Alright, let's see here. Give me just a second. Let me get all my all my things pulled up here. Just oh, crack open a, a, a Dr. P. Oh, baby, I'm ready. I didn't think you'd actually do it. Yeah, DP. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Yeah, Something DP. kind for Scrumpo? They'll never do it. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, I'm about to dragon punch this fucking lord. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, here we go. Uh... All right, Akar. As you begin to remove the curse from Scrumpo, something happens. 
the eyes that have been dormant on his shoulder and like his his sick tattoo uh, begin to react to being removed. They kind of silently scream and coil around his skin through his arm and and basically retract themselves from your grip. But you are a cleric of your own powerful right now, and it is unable to escape. <clears throat> you focus your energy on the curse. And as it begins to dissipate, something else happens. All right. Rip Tom. He was the best <clears throat> tattoo. All right, here we go. <laughs> Jesse. Yeah. I speak to you now. Okay. Because as the curse is undone, Scrumpo sees a vision. Okay. For your soul is refracted. And as once you have walked other paths, so too have you seen other things. But you did not walk the path of the seven. It is not the eye of the violet that you have, but rather... You have stood in the presence of the stranger. I know that guy. You feel that the shadows below in the tooth hold a secret. A secret that is unbound. Scrumpo sees him, uh, sees himself, sees a strange elven wizard, a vibrating, angry, pooping man. <laughs> a brave golden haired paladin and a kind of an asshole walk ahead of each other and stand before the presence of this statue the stranger's call lies below and the curse is gone the in this particular tooth Oh, shit. Well, whew, all right, then. Hey. I hey, tell you, you know, you know, you don't know what a nap can do for an old man, you know? Yeah, that was great. Hey, listen, we should go into that hole. What? what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't we just talk Excuse about me? this? Uh, listen. I feel... Weren't we just going over decision making and how we shouldn't just do things? Curse flipping through his spell book looking for put curse back. <laughs> <laughs> Bestow curse. I think there's something down there that will make us more powerful. Uh, like, Excuse what? me? I, look, he, when he removed the curse, I saw a vision. There's a statue down there. Okay. Why would your curse from our planet tell you about this tooth well this place is inhabited by people that aren't native to this place i think something from our world exists here below uh, you're sure huck will huck will sort of look over the edge is it just is it just darkness the depths are dark and cold you well, almost i mean you almost sense and further terrors you further uh, you sense that there are that there's movement but it could just be a trick of your eye i could throw another light down there but last time i did it a big ugly came up well i, I mean what are the chances yeah what are the chances with another big ugly be down there well i mean i i need to well i need to take it by pr first <laughs> <laughs> guy yes should i throw another light down there I think I, I, this lands with Scrumpus. Listen, the I, I, think I think Scrumpus being fooled. No, I, look, I, man, I've died. Look, my people are bound to this mystical crap. I know what a vision is. And and what do you think is down there exactly? A statue that we need to pay homage to. Omelette du fromage. Big pipe so, will, look, I'm not cooking for any fucking stone thing. Out of character. Um. You said the stranger was Lorne. Fuck. Hold on. Don't answer that. Um. Okay. <laughs> Back in character. It's a it's a statue to the stranger. Uh, hold on. Big pipe will grab another tooth and throw a light down. 
Would I know that name from my refractions that I saw? When the name is spoken, you see it too. Oh shit! Yeah. No, I, I, because we touched a mirror or something, the paint, I don't remember, and the stupid temple we were in, it was so boring. But no, I, this sounds familiar to me as well. Look, I think it's real, and I feel like if we can somehow commune with it, we'll be even more powerful than they are now, which is extremely powerful. I think also, uh, look, I have a fan of flying, and... One of us could go down there just to see, but I think it's... I'm not sure this is the right hole. The car kind of, like, shakes out his wings for a second. <laughs> we all sure do have a big bird with us. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to... Look, I... What if look, he gets all the power? Well, no, he's, we all have to pay homage. Well, you know, I could just feather fall us all. I think... I'm afraid of what's down there. You, we saw the stuff moving. I'm, I think this is... A, I did throw a light down there, Arcadum. Did, we, did I see anything? The light fades until it is gone from sight. Do I know how far down it went before it started to fade? For the light, for you not be able to see the light, that yeah. that has to be something like perhaps even <laughs> thousands of feet for you not to be able to see Ooh. it naturally. But then again, who knows? It may have been caught in something. You just can't tell. It's deep. Well, Arcadum said out loud that we, we saw a shifting movement when you dropped it just now. Hmm. How about, why don't we, listen, if we're all in agreement, why don't we just go deeper into the tooth? Maybe there's another way down. Could always look, couldn't hurt. I mean, we did kill a big baddie. I mean, how much worse could it be? Would you, how, I mean, uh, I mean uh, but is, if this, we, is if, this, is this cavern less than a mile? <laughs> See, this is this, this is this is what I'm saying is that it it seems like it was that far, but that couldn't be the case because that doesn't match up with the actual size of where you are. How about we consult the magic wizard guy who owes us a debt? Oh, that's I like idea. it. I, I like having hey. someone else do the work. Um, but yes, but if we sense that perhaps he you know hungry for power, we will have to you know deal with that oh oh if we sense that i'll drain him great great okay so yeah yeah sure uh, but, all right well, well then we, we well, need to I come mean, back i could you know i could i could take a look um okay if, yeah listen if you want to do it you can do it but i'm afraid that something's gonna grab you and we can't help you if you're down there alone no 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 um let's see uh pipe can you throw something else down there um he throws another tooth down. Uh, Icar casts clairvoyance on the tooth so he can see what uh, everything to a range mm. of a mile. Okay. okay. I Dang. see you. I see you. Yo, starting to step up. All right. What's the. Uh... I took a nap. Bro, Dang. I slept. Omega power nap. All right. If that's the case, then. How can I describe this? You see, you the tooth, right? Yeah, okay. Um, you start to see through where the teeth, where the where the tooth goes, and the light from the tooth emanates out. You fall further and further through the darkness, and then shadows wash over you, almost like you're caught in water. And the tooth lands in a basin of roots. What you see around you in, in the clairvoyance it looks like the sky, the jungle, more vines, mist, and water. Oh, shit. And then the spell fades. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Looks like a bunch of, you know, the, the, the under canopy of a jungle a little bit, you know? It, it, wait. Nothing really like came out a, and was like ah. So a jungle in shadow. Yeah, it was whale? strange. It was like it was like being inside, like a um, like a fake reality. Wait, would, do we that. know any from that vision? Would that locale sound familiar to me? Because out of character, it sounds familiar to me. <laughs> the refraction is not uh, in, is not that distinct. Okay. If it sounds familiar, that's good. Yes. I'm I didn't just... get the sense that it was a lot of danger. 
Uh, all right, we're doing a feather fall. We're doing a hold hands. We're all in hey, agreement. No. Look, I think I think we still should go talk to the mage first. Maybe go around town. Maybe spend some of these teeth. Yeah, I I am completely on board spending these teeth because if we go to a jungle, they're not going to be dealing in teeth. Okay. Um, can I buy something? <laughs> yeah. So hopefully, not really selling anything. <laughs> of course you can. We're rich. Okay. Yeah, I rich need, in I need, teeth. I want to get clothes and also something magical. Well, sure. I. Well, let's do that. Let's go. How much? How much of this tooth is even left, by the way? How much of like how big can this one tooth even be? Uh, it seems like there's a lot left. Hmm. Well, we're coming back anyway, so let's let's go talk to the mage. Wait, how much? How much? How many teeth do we have? Like two thousand. Uh, let's see. Oh, Carry the two. This one's double. Uh, about three thousand one hundred teeth. Dang. Which is equivalent to about uh, carry the ten, a uh, thirty-one thousand gold in our oh. world. Oh. Yeah, we need to spend that before it becomes let's worthless. Go. Let's go. Yeah, let's do that. I'm getting me some clothes. Also, keep an eye open for anything that would indicate where this whale is in the universe, so that we can teleport back here. Okay. If we leave. Look, we can just take something from here. Have we all gotten smarter? Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like we are near death. It's like experience. we read books or some shit. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was very yeah, insensitive. Yeah. No, I was very <laughs> well, I'm agreeing with you. I read all sorts of things. It's, it's, it's cause and effect. Look, it's, it's fine. I'm really sorry. No. No, 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 I'm, I'm agreeing with you. We're all a lot smarter because sure. of that uh, whole Big reading Big Pipe there. cast another sign behind Huck that says Huck still can't read. <laughs> yeah, good idea marking where we're banned so we don't get lost. Yep. All right, yep. to the wizard yep. lad, to the shops, to the, and then yes. to the mysterious whale jungle. To Arendelle. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And but so that was the most helpful curse I've ever seen anyone have. Supposedly, maybe, I don't know. All right, here we go. Gathering party. Venturing forth. Gathering party. I don't know why. But the curse of Tarzan taking us to a jungle seems, I don't know, funny, I don't know why. <laughs> You know, when you say it like that, I'm now mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I don't. I forgot how much I hated looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, the tongue. Can you talk to this guy? Greetings, fellow man. So you have returned. This is good. I see that you have done your part, and I am thankful for that. The cavities must be held at bay if the people are to survive the finding process. Oh, absolutely. We, we did it the hard way, probably. We killed a giant thing. But have you ever heard any tales, perhaps, of people saying there's a jungle at the bottom of the teeth? Or some kind of statue. Jungle? We well, ah. think we found a, a portal of some sort. I see. There are things that we must discuss. This is not the place to do that. Okay, but we, it's, we're going on a shopping spree. Can you wait? <laughs> <laughs> I will take you back to town. Thanks. So much obliged. And now that you guys are dealing with wizards of that level, he will teleport everyone back. This, oh. guy's, this guy is loaded. You don't just waste a spell like that. They're so expensive around here. <laughs> What level spell would it be to teleport this whole party? Five, right? Or six? Sixth. Sixth. Oh, Ew. damn. So you gotta Ew. use a crystal to recharge that shit. Damn. Okay. Let me load this up. Load this up. I'm loading. Someone in chat asked if I'm still pretending to be the half -like? No. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. This guy probably saw through it if he was trying to anyway. Am I still pretending to be the Havlin? No. Oi, it's me, Toy Lupio Oort. Oh, I'm a piece of shite. <laughs> right. 
and he will teleport you here to jail <laughs> he teleports uh -huh. us into space and kills us the end oh 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 been here yet no we have not well whoops i accidentally it's like the church of the whale hold on i'm accidentally removed that i didn't mean to all right okay come with me if you want uh, to. oh okay all right as he gets to this point you will see drag, a drag me along i'm still loading you will see a strange woman standing before you she will smile oh. and give a deep bow Oh. She will gesture. Jeez. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> All right, get it out. Get it out. Okay. <laughs> she will gesture towards the north and will uh, walk inside. Arendelle will follow behind her uh, at a respectful distance. You see that there is a uh, quite a bit of respect that he shows for this individual, uh, perhaps even bordering on a little bit of fear. All right, and you walk through what is essentially a cathedral. A cathedral to the great space well Quirg. You guys can see the paraphernalia and everything here, right? Big yeah, and, the seat. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and the big whale at the end. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to take a seat right here. And Arendelle will then uh, give a respectful bow. Metronome, might we use your hallowed halls? She will smile and give a brief nod. And then she will go to stand back outside again. I'm sure her name was Metronome. Indeed. Really impeccable uh, timing. Yeah, really. One of the most beautiful gnomes I've ever seen. Oh. She... <laughs> okay. That was pretty good. <laughs> but he will say, uh... <laughs> he will say, she is one of the voiceless ones. The ones that have given their voices to Quirk. It is because of her that the great whale is kept stable but enough about this place you do not belong and you must escape Th that's what we've been saying uh, uh, i know I'm trust me we want to leave why? just as fast why because your coming was foretold oh. what i have been preparing for some time <sighs> Oh my god, not you again. See? We're in so I, I, many I, I, of these. I, I, I immediately look at Guy. <laughs> it was foretold. Well, if it you was can't... foretold, then why did you send us in to clean up plaque? Like you knew who we were. I don't think he did. I had to test you. Oh, you were Pash? It well, was a faded fireball. You are not, look, you are not you dead. Should, you should have seen what we fought, man. It was pretty Although wild. I will be admitted. I did not expect you to appear before me as a gnome. I expected for you to appear before me as Azalon. I don't know who that is. Who is that? There is much that you do not know. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, I shall do what I can me. to explain. All right. Is everyone comfortable? Yeah. Because Are we going to have a nice lore session? I'm, I'm comfy as fuck. I'm about uh, to shit lore all over everyone in this room right now. So Huck, Huck takes a little seat, like he he, because he can't really sit on the chairs, so he just sort of plops down on the floor. I, I'll take notes because I'll remember them. <laughs> Wait, are you being sarcastic? I'll pretend I'm taking notes. <laughs> no, no, that's oh, okay. You're just saying that Listen, you will. Thank if you. I, if I'm the bank, you're the library. All right. First, you must understand what Quirg is. There are many that call him a whale, and while that is technically true, he is not a whale like the creatures of your world or the other worlds that we have seen. Quirg is a anomaly, a runoff, you see, of errant emotional energy given form. Quirg is actually the combined emotions of the people within, focused into a point. It is why, when the mood of the realm becomes too discordant, the whale begins to break apart. Wait, hold on a second. Then how did it form in the first place? And that is the question. A question that I will do what I can to answer. 
But first... Precautions. All right. <clears throat> Arendell will remove the top part of his robe, and there are two sigils that appear Ooh. on his chest. On his left pec, there is the sigil of the seven-pointed star. And on his right pec is another sigil that you do not recognize. Ash. What's that one? Work out. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> My god, he's going to tell us fairy tales. <laughs> Is any of this real? What do you, what do, you do, we, like strong we... lips or something? Or do you, you do... Uh... Are we able to check the other one? Uh, I'm about to tell you what it is. I'm just trying oh. to be dramatic. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, Arendelle will then say, This is the symbol of the seven. And this is the symbol of the cardinal. All right, and then he will explain... And that is what we must speak of. Okay. All right, my Glaeus boys. Yeah. Your eyes refract as memories from your other forms pour into your mind. <laughs> what you see, the symbol of the Cardinal, is exactly the same as the symbol of the Stranger. Oh. What's so that? he was here too. I'll let that sink in. You guys all right? Uh, are you okay? Can it's been a long time. Can we ask some questions about that? Go ahead. Yeah. A boat guy. How was Discord related to the stranger? Well, I don't know if you recall, but do you remember why Discord acted the way that he did? I thought that he was the stranger as like but his memories were all messed up oh my god i forgot completely about <laughs> <See? Discord. laughs> dude i've been thinking about it this week so i'm like i have more knowledge than i should have had well to answer your question i'm not sure if you guys ever actually got to the bottom of it but discord in the glaeus campaign um do you remember what vorb did to him uh no <laughs> Okay. No. Okay. Well, it's. I'm. I'm. I'm not it's like. I'm not. I'm not trying to call you out or anything. I'm just I interested know, to see yeah. if you actually know. But, well, anyway. Um. So, Vorb essentially was able to stabilize Discord, and the reason that Discord was unstable is because the stranger or Discord was unable to actually finish their mission. Now. I do not believe that you actually found out what the mission was in Glaze because you were too busy dealing with Olak and McFucking High. So, yeah. there's that. What? But, um... Actually, yeah, I was asking the other day, who was the alchemist that we ended up defeating? I, like, can't remember his name at all. He was the soul sucker guy. You said he was, like, he appears all the time and, like, he was, like, a common occurrence or something. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, ca I can't, I cannot remember his name. I just remember how he died. Like a bitch. <laughs> like a bitch. <laughs> like a fucking bitch. His name started with T. See, I oh. thought it was Tear. Oh. That is correct. See, I told you, Ashley. She kept telling me I was wrong. And I'm... Well, I, yeah, I, I, I would have like... I would have told you you were wrong, too, because I, d I didn't remember his name, but I definitely did not think that that was it. So, now that you have this knowledge, now we can explain who the Cardinal is actually is <gasps> I'm Ar Arendell will explain that the cardinal was the translator to the seven it was the one that stood as the bridge between the forbidden knowledge and the knowledge that the seven must wield and the cardinal the original cardinal that is was the great wizard tear the traitor. The exile. The dementant. So. Now that's been revealed. The I vaguely remembered. The, the cardinal. <laughs> the cardinal tier. Uh, its prime purpose was to do the things that the seven could not. The seven had to remain pure. They had to remain heroic. 
So Tyr broke as many rules as possible in order to try and find an edge for them to face the enemy. Because the enemy could break any rule it wished and would only gain more power as it did so. So Tyr took it upon himself to see which covenants could crack, to see which rules could be broken, and to see which souls could be shattered. Tyr's sacrifice caused him to furl into madness, but it is believed that he completed his mission, or at least some of himself did. For one of the ways that Tyr was able to try and as break as many rules as possible was to split himself into different phylacteries, and with them, simulcrums. And he traveled the stars, searching for the truth of the enemy. There are three pieces that Tyr split himself into. His shadow, his soul, and his heart. A stranger traveled to three places. And you have found one of them. You have found where the soul of Tyr may be found. Interesting. How do you spell tear for my notes? Uh, T Y R E. T Y R E. That's not how I did it. You fool. You absolute buffoon. I quit. No, I'm not good enough for this. <laughs> Higher. It's not worth it. One scarab lord down. <laughs> All right. Arendell will continue, and he will say, Already, the forces, the forces of life, move at Inu's quiet command. Already, there are three uh, individualistic groups that seek to claim the old labyrinth where Tyr commenced his works, Arendell will say. Perhaps, if they are able to unravel the Cardinal's madness, they can find the truth at the end. However, it will all be for naught if the hidden pieces are not returned. Therefore, your task is simple. You wish to leave Querg. Leave Querg you will. But you will leave it. You will leave it because you have other places to travel. I do not believe that you are not able to come here for no reason. And we shall see that that reason is made paramount. It was foretold that I would see a man named Azalon, and instead, it is you. But I have learned not to question such things. The trials of life face against the enemy's coming. The herald beckons, and we have not time to dawdle. So, if you wish to leave Querg, you must first reclaim the soul of Tyr which lies within the gullet of Querg, in the maelstrom. Oh, and that's all, huh? That? It, but how does that get us to leave? Once you have reclaimed the soul of Tyr, then you will have the power, the strength required in order to cross the Astral Sea. I have already made arrangements on your behest. It is a simple task, truly. Yeah, well, hold on. You're very powerful, and you've lived here, presumably. Why don't you have it? <laughs> That's a good question. Because yeah, I, he's laughing. Because my mind is unable to handle this knowledge. I am not a refracted soul. Have right, you talked to us? I, I, I then look at Scrumpo, and he can! Yeah, I'm really... Well, every time I close my eyes, a, a giant is shooting a great bow at me. Every time I close my eyes, I see a guy with flails dabbing. Every time I close my eyes, I, I see all I see is darkness. Oh, that's just because my eyes are closed. Sorry. Yeah, yes, yes, it's a okay. Look, this is all a lot of stuff to take in. 
Well, hold on, second question, sorry, I'm full of them, I have so many, I'm very inquisitive. Why don't you just refract your soul? Because only those that have seen the mirrors of this world can do so. And I cannot see them. Look, you can just tell us you're busy. It feels bad. Because I feel like you've lived your entire life, and you're clearly powerful, but you can't actually do anything. I could see how one might think that, but I have found purpose in my life. And I serve it. I serve Lord Inu with all of my heart. Who is Inu? Very well. It is time you learned of the Weavers. Get ready for the next wave of lore, bitches! I love these lore yeah. sessions. Also, this is, unrelated, this is all I hope. Information that we needed to learn. <laughs> that, yes, we needed to know this information, but I just want you to know I hope you're ready for just like seven different fan arts of us just staring at his pecs. What are the odds that, you know, a particular translator also knew a lot of this? Very I high. Mean... <laughs> <laughs> I see. So the translator is dead. Uh, well, wait, no. Yeah, he made an unfortunate say that. I don't I... want to talk about it. <laughs> Listen, this is all his fault. I point to Scrumpo. Oh, mm, for fuck's sake. I stabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> you well, know, I was I was going to lie for you. I appreciate that, but... And I, I like... don't worry, I fireballed him afterwards, and that's how we got here. Tell As was foretold. Lord. It was a faded fireball, foretold you know, just, by the if you gods. Just let them go on, they'll go on forever. Uh, yes, of course. Very well. well. Was it bad that that guy's dead? It is time I told you of the weavers. <laughs> 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 yes, lore. First, you must know what is life and what is not. I will tell you the story of the Lord above all, Lord Death himself. In the beginning, before the world seeds, before life christened its light across the endless darkness, there was but entropy. There was nothing but death. And he was alone. And then life became a light shining in the darkness that is death. It is said that Lord Death was enamored with the light of life. As it grew and coiled in all its directions, he began to love it, for no longer was he alone. But he could see the way that it twisted, that it would harm itself, that it would lose its way, that it would rot and fall to pieces. And every time that he attempted to touch it, to become one with it, it would wither to dust. For death, can never be with life. A realization, it is said, that Lord Death made that day, that if he could not be with it, then he would assure that it was protected. And so Death made seven promises, seven covenants. These covenants provided the framework and structure for the great tree of Yggdrasil to grow, for life to spread, for the roots, for the trunk, and for the branches to grow and expand wide and beyond. And thus, death took his role as its gardener, cutting away the dead branches, sifting through the rot, and using his presence to ensure that its engine continues but life has its leader. At the, shadowed, at the shattered gate, there lies a being. A being whom their origin is not very clear even to myself. But I suppose it is the first life. The first being to think, to become self-aware. And who has dedicated itself to guarding the stream of life through Yggdrasil. And as such, Lord Inu learned of the world. 
and from it he created a craft. A craft that those that would dedicate themselves to it could see the life stream repaired, could see the life stream restored, and could see the life stream prosper. These are the weavers. The weavers sing their songs to the life stream. They call forth the essence of the heartbeat, of the will, of the memory. And thus they have dedicated themselves. For once the gate was not shattered, and the weavers walked the many worlds undeterred. The worlds grew like fruit upon branches. There were once so many of them, it is said. So many. And now, there is not, but perhaps twenty. The gate was shattered. The enemy nearly destroyed it all, and the great wheel continues to turn. And as such, here we stand. The seven sacrifice was believed to have defeated the enemy, but it would seem that it only bought us the time that we have been given. Even now their shadows still echo within the life stream, within the hearts of those that would stand against evil, that would stand against destruction, that would stand for what they believe in. But they are but embers of a fading torch. And now, the end has come. The Herald grows ever closer. And with the Seven gone, we will need to find new methods to face this enemy. And it is there that hope can be found. The final gift that the Seven left was hope. Not false hope. Not pointless irredeemable hope, but hope that you, and he points to each of you, may make the difference. That every soul within it has the potential for refraction, and from refraction, the power needed to face the enemy. And thus here we are, standing on the precipice of crossed destiny, as the tapestry unravels from its violet fire. Dang, you should have been a poet, my man. Man, I wish I had asked for ambiance before that whole thing. Hey, you're I, a I poet. put some on for myself, and it like when he said the word, word like fight, this big orchestra crash happened, and it was great. <laughs> Joe, I'm pogging. Excuse me, I have some questions. Yeah, me as well. Speak. Infinite. The live stream is everywhere, not just on our world. The life stream is all of creation. That is Quergh, that is I, that is you, that is all the countless souls across this place of all creation. All. And wh who, what, who's the enemy? The man will freeze. There are some questions that you should not ask. Well, shouldn't we know what we're fighting? There are some questions you should not ask. Okay, I have a different question. Uh, what is the Herald? All right, the man will begin <laughs> to cough up blood and fall to his Whoa. knees. There are oh, some oh. questions Whoa. you cannot ask. Sorry. All right, all right, okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Whoa. All right, uh, the guy's turn again. Uh, so uh, you're, you're a weaver then, right? I be blessed by Lord Inu with such power? No, no. Uh, Huck, Huck will give him his hang as his handkerchief. He will thank you and wipe his mouth away. Uh, hold on. See, so, my next question was if I could drink that. Inu is the one who watches the the gates. Yes, the gates that are now shattered. And those are where? 
He will point his staff up above him, and the cathedral will open, and you will see the astral sea. You will then oh, see fuck. you will then see him move his staff, and the spherical like observatory will shift, and then he will literally point to where it is. Ah, it is there yeah. within that nebula. Now, what's a nebula? Or is that a question I shouldn't ask? <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> a nebula is a gathering of space, sectored away within the astral sea. Mm hmm. It Those is. Are words. It is like a region. Oh, okay. I get you. Which nebula is that? I do not know their names, unfortunately. I see. I only... Do you have any, um, sorry, coordinates with all these types of things? Because, you know, back at home, we've got... But I believe the nice that the Shattered setup. Gate is found within the Verza. Write that down. <laughs> I'm doing it. I've played this game before. Can you hear my typing? Of course I was writing it down. Uh, what it's, is Verza? It's V-E-R-Z-A. Versa is the name of the nebula in which the shattered gates can be found. Okay. Do we... Should we go there? You are intrepid. But no. Your path lies with the soul of Tyr. And then when you escape, uh, perhaps you can choose where to go. Oh. oh. I have another oh. question, sir. I, I have one as well regarding the soul. Oh, you go first. Well, how exactly do we pick up a soul? I do not know what form the stranger has taken. That will be up to you to decide. What? <laughs> he does not repeat himself. Uh, all right, another one. Uh, so... I'm sorry to be a snitch here, Big Pike, but, but our boy over here has a particular vial that... No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're I, not sure quite what? what to do with. I... Having... Okay, so my Big Pipe has absolutely, like, no regard for this. He just thinks it's just a vial of purple that people are losing their shit over, so I just, like, casually pull it out of the bag and go, yeah, we found this. I show it to him. I, well, I showed... I'm holding it out. Unfortunate. Oh. Why? Yeah, Why? Die or something, because, you know, you said the word and he was dying. But fuck this guy. What <laughs> word did I say? I said vile. Is vile a word? Yeah, it means disgusting. The... Or, or putrid. <laughs> or Is he dead? Oh, thing. yeah, that too, I guess. Wait, what word did I say? All right. I don't just you showed it to him. I think that's enough. Oh, oh fuck. Okay. All right. The man will hold up his his hand in front of his eyes. Put it away. Put it away. The car uh, steps uh, between them. Uh, oh, okay. I quickly put it back in the bag. Do not. Does one of those big giant wing unfurls so you can't see anything? Do it not. Looks super cool though. Do not remove it. Do, wow. Talk about a vile vile. Do not ever open that. Why do you have that? Where did you find it? <laughs> um. I point to Guy. In him? What? Um, well, you, I, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the important part is someone put the idea in our brain that we could use this to power a astral sea ship? I suppose that, that such a thing would be possible. But no. It should never be attempted. Ex well, then how are we leaving? We will certainly oh. not be following the folly of Maltos, that is for sure. Okay, oh. yes. So, uh, I thought that was a sugar, but is can you explain what this is? Because people keep getting really excited about it, and then Big Pipe over there is showing it to everyone, so if you could just sort of fill us in. I just want to show what I found. What you have in your hand is the essence of the enemy's power, known as the Violet. Uh, oh. Whatever the violet touches, it corrupts. Whatever the violet kills is gone. Removed from the life stream. Wait, when you say removed, what do you mean by that? Like, 
I mean, I mean, I know, like when we kill something, it is it, the only it's thing dead. that can kill a refracted soul. Oh, uh oh, that challenge, my violent. But that's death. not true. We saw Scrumpo die at least twice. No, I wasn't dead. Not the vessel in which the soul inhabits. Your individualistic lives are pointless. It is the one within that, like that matters. Man. Jeez. The violet destroys the soul within. It destroys I... the life stream. The finite resource of life. I understand what he's saying out of character, but in character, it still makes no sense. So, so, okay, let's, let's talk about hypothetical here. If there was like, you know, a violet eyed evil person who was reincarnated whose soul we wanted to remove would that do it? Man will frown that seems specific enough to not be hypothetical <laughs> I'm very y yeah you're right <laughs> <laughs> wait who? <clears throat> what knowledge do you have of the violet? Have any of you been infected? Uh, you have the prophecies, has... man. I, I did drink the blood of a turkey that had a violet energy within it, and for a brief moment, it was in my eye. And then we showed it a connected mirror to the Scarab Lord Palace. He will drop his staff. Mm. <laughs> you see, I didn't want to admit all this, but you're getting all worked up about it. Uh, listen, I'd like to, I'd like to just uh, butt in here for a second and say I didn't do any of this. No. No. The, the mirror realm. He didn't know. The mirror realm. What of Toman? He will then quickly turn and will pull out a mirror himself. And he will gaze through it. Oh, see, it's fine when he does it. Toman. <laughs> I thought he couldn't see mirrors. Toman. Toman. Is gone. Look, we didn't know. Yeah, I, I have to admit. I honestly still don't know. We became Scarab Lords by accident and no one really explained anything to us. Oh, dude, there's a lantern lighter and he's not, he's not all there. And he's all we have. And he will I pick, wonder what he's doing right now. He will pick up the staff. <laughs> Meanwhile, back and leave. <laughs> Can you just give us like a quick 30 seconds uh, uh, of what's uh, going uh, on? Uh, uh, meanwhile, back and leave. <clears throat> Please rank yourselves from hottest to least hottest. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, whenever you present your proposals, please do so in the appropriate sexy pose so that the painter might finish. <laughs> and for those of you in the back that are watching, remember, it costs money. <laughs> He's doing I'm his best. He's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's doing a bang up job. Anyway. We thought he was getting ripped and like going on a crusade. No, he's just having one giant, pro just one giant party. The whole thing's been a big misunderstanding. We became Scarab Lords for 500 gold. <laughs> yeah, that's really what it, what it sort of boiled down to. We, but we're one Scarab Lord. Yeah. Hey. The mirror Lord, realm. You... Then what of the dream realm? Hey, uh, that's my next question. And then he will pull out Chook's bandage. This is from the dream realm. He will smile. Hey. And he will say, then all is not lost. You hold the bandage of Chook. This is good. And that means the knights have not failed. I don't know what this is. Yeah, we're just showing you random, like, things we have, because I've got these weird scrolls. This, look, I think this, I don't think it was actually Chook. I think it was one of the gods in the dream. Chook when I asked him, lives. Yeah. If we're just showing random things, I have a diamond. Ooh, I got this turnip. Yeah. I, I, I car pulled out the dog turnip. training for dummies book. Do you guys have dogs here? No. Look, what I'm asking is, do you want it? No. 
You, you must keep it. It was given to you. It will do no use for me. Okay. That is good to Look. hear. The dream realm hey. yet remains unmolested, and perhaps we can survive the loss of the mirror realm. Yeah, we're really sorry about that. It is time for you to know, then, why mirrors are so important. Is it time for another lore dump? Round three! I'm gonna ask for some ambiance. Let's go. A song? Uh, uh, refracted souls sexually transmitted? <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, STS. I'm still, I'm still really wondering if we can, you know, that that guy who's I feel like I'm not supposed to say his name, but the purple guy should. Can we use the 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 vial that we're not supposed to have to, you know? It, it's his wipe power. Him out. We'd be giving him his power. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but sure, what if sure, you but... like? Wouldn't that be like fighting fire with fire? Yeah, I mean, look, if you took a feather off of me and stabbed it in my eye, I'd still go blind. I suppose he's got. Yeah, he's got a point. But you, you dare not da step down to the folly of Maltos. Why don't we just? Why don't we just get rid of it? I mean, How? I can just go chuck it. And we don't it. No. have any of these interesting conversations. I, I, maybe this. Like, well, maybe he can't cleanse it. I don't what? know. What what do you want me? Okay, I'm not pulling out the vial. I'm just I'm pointing to my back. What do you want me to do with this if I shouldn't have it? I feel like I shouldn't just like leave it on the side of the road or something. <clears throat> Hello? Are you are you asking him? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I thought you were talking to each other. Uh he will no. he'll respond and he will say you are not supposed to have it. And I do not know how to destroy it. If I did, then we would be in a better position. Only one entity was ever able to destroy violet energy. And that was the Seven. Oh, so you just want me to... Okay, so I guess I'm just going to carry around this... Pray bomb really of energy. Hard. Yeah, shit, there's only five of us. No. But there were six, but... Six? Six if you count you. Wait. Uh, sir, before you continue, uh, my, my friend, my bird friend here can't talk to his god. Uh, what gods have power here? The only god here is the god Quirk, which is our shared collective, I suppose, psionic energy. Okay. Sorry, continue. Your gods cannot reach you, for they are too far away. How, how you know, likely is Quag to sort of co-opt? Unlikely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, may I stay at your church for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> we can't just, like... We, we can't just, like, suggest Quag go in a direction? I thought y'all had, like, control of his brain. <laughs> to control the mind of everyone which is what Quag's mind is is not an easy task now we could just turn it upside newspaper. down in either case he will then begin to explain about how mirrors work and why they're so important I still have my mirror oh yeah the I'm actually kind of. I was just gonna say, I wonder because it's still pre-tapped. So, like, if I tap this, would it just choo, straight back? I don't know if there's a range on that. All right. Probably. Here we go. The first thing that you must realize is what a mirror actually is. A mirror is a refraction within space and time. For every mirror shows a reflection of another place. These places exist. Each mirror is a representation of a place that exists within itself. It is how... It is how the act of teleportation actually works. One reflects oneself to another point in space. And all of these reflections, these mirrored existences, exist 
within a single network. The Shattered Gate. It is said that with one master's mirrors, they can travel about the world as the Weavers once did. And, perhaps, travel to Inu himself. A guardian. A guardian was given to the mirrors. A creature by the name of Toman. A being of perfect symmetry. This being upheld the reflections. And it is one of the few places that have yet remained unmolested by the violet. As long as violet eyes never gaze into the mirrors, it should be safe. Uh, uh. Hmm. Hey, we did that. Ah, fuck. He will close his eyes and take a deep, sharp in-breath. Yeah, that's what we... When you drop the staff, maybe... You, I don't know, maybe you just wanted to forget. <laughs> yes, I am aware. Okay. Now, we must hope that Toman was not corrupted. Or if he was corrupted, then the enemy has gained the power to travel to the Shattered Gate. Who's Toman? The Guardian of the Mirrors. The oh. being of perfect symmetry. If the Violet ever reaches Inu, that will spell the end of all things. Okay, so let, let me... The same page. Let's do a diagram. Okay. The gates... Behind the gates are Inu, right? Yes. And Inu is the tree of life. No. No. Okay. Inu You're is the one... That? Inu is the first thing that was created and gained sentience in a life stream. Yes. Okay. As it is believed. And, he, and he's the chosen, in quotes, of the tree of life. Yes. He speaks okay. for the tree. Uh, random question. Uh, it's about death, so if that's gonna make you cough up blood, stop me now. Okay. What, what were the promises that it made to the Tree of Life? Or I guess life. Who's ready for wave four? Hit oh, me with wave four, baby. Go. I'm pogging. Mm -hmm. One moment, please. Da -da 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 -da. Hold on, I'm uh, double checking everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me just a second. I mean, I'll take lore dumps over us arguing if we should go down a hallway for 30 minutes. True. Or us almost dying. No, nah, I'm cool with that. Oh, Exciting. Right Chat, eat your lore. Eat it. Eat it. Eat the lore. Eat your lore or you don't get any combat. Mm. Oh, I really want combat. Let's all jump Arendelle. Yes, <laughs> just jump well, him. He's looking up his lore. I mean, he's got to be really easy. You just got to say the word over and over again. Yeah. That's <laughs> if you say it three times fast, he instantly dies. We'll be rich. Until the world ends. <laughs> okay. Just gonna make sure. 
Did shitters get removed? What? What'd you say? Shitters? It got... Yeah, something happened to it. I keep removing it from better Twitch. <laughs> I think I, it has to be renamed. I don't think they can have a curse word as a, an emote, probably. Darn. Shitters, dude. Poopers? I, st I still see it because I never refresh, so... It's like it never left. I don't know what the hell you streamers are talking about. <laughs> you ever seen a frog eat a pile of shit? <laughs> uh, I, no. Do you want to see a frog eat a pile of shit? I mean, me, now I do. Let's clarify. It's not just a frog. It is a frog that looks very angry with a dent in the middle of its head. Okay. It looks very, very upset. <laughs> I mean, I've watched C-SPAN. I guess that's... <laughs> Bazing. <laughs> Got him. All right. I don't Here know we go. what you and Dolph are talking about. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Silence, Zuma. Yeah. All right. Death made seven promises. The first was the promise of life. That forever would death remain its guardian. That life would always live. And that its growth would always be. The second was the covenant of death. That all things must come to an end. To make room for the new. This covenant represents Lord Death himself. At least it is said. The third is the covenant of ambition. That desire would be the guiding light in all things. That to want, to wish, these are the things that would allow one the purpose of life. The next was time. Time given, time received and the infinite tracking of the seconds passing. But without time, there is no rhyme nor reason to one's actions. The next of the covenants was the dream. For where doth desire conjure then from the imagination? One to be more than an animal must seek self-awareness must seek the dream for within the dream there it lies the truth of oneself and then finally there is wisdom for one must learn from one's actions. And there is the seventh covenant. The broken one. The one that it is believed that the enemy shattered. And why death cannot stop it. What was it? I do not know. Do you think that... Why would it just break that one? Why not break the covenant of life? Wouldn't that have ended everything if that's its goal? I cannot say. Or I do not know. Yeah, I was going to say, can you not say it because it'll make you cough up blood? So these are the laws of the life stream, and the life stream is everything. They are the laws of the universe, yes. Are we're bound by them all, right? Yes. And we and the enemy's not, at least by the one that it broke. Yes. Is it bound by the ones that still exist?
It is hopeful that this enemy is still bound by those that it did not break. But the enemy in its very nature is wrongness incarnate. Oh, you said that when you... This is the only thing that can kill a refracted soul and all that. What exactly happens if it does destroy everything? Like, it's got to have some kind of goal, right? I wish that I knew of the... I wish that I knew of it. But it is not seen. For I do not know. How long ago was it broken? I do not know. Let's assume that this thing broke that particular universal law on purpose. And it would probably break the one that was most relevant to allowing it to proceed as it does to corrupt and kill everything, right? So what would it be knowing all of that? Arendelle does not answer. What's... I mean, what makes a murderer? It's trying to kill everything. According to you. The more that you know of this enemy, the closer to corruption you become. I know not. I know not of its purpose, nor rhyme, nor reason. I only know that it must be stopped. Okay. Uh, how were you able to tell that Guy and I were refracted souls? My knowledge does grant me some blessings. For when I look upon you, I do not see the vessels which you currently reside, but I see the shadows of the others that you once did. And something that our other selves did made us? Yes. The more that your soul has performed in the world, the stronger your refraction. And it is not just the two of you. There is one other. Although it is smaller, lighter in touch. Ooh. So, uh, the, uh, a car, Huckleberry, and Big Pipe are not refracted souls. And he points to all three of them. Arendelle will point towards Big Pipe. This one does. What? I what do you myself. Huck, what do you remember? Uh, well, uh... I remember waking up. I think I had breakfast. Wait, no, close your eyes. What? Okay. Listen, close your eyes and pray to yourself. Okay. Uh, she. No, think to yourself. I'm thinking of a thing. Not out loud. Mm -hmm. Really Wait, try. <laughs> you know, he said Big Pipe was refracted, not Huck, right? What? He yeah, he's talking, right. yeah, he was talking to me, not oh, and, and also, no, sorry, I, I thought mean, we were I thought we were having a moment there, Scrumpo. Well, look, yeah, I was just going to let that keep going. Yeah, you, oh. you can't just ask Huck to do that. So, you know, it, it's OK, Huck, you can continue. It's it, it's fine. Okay, I was kind of nice. It was what like you, I was meditating. Big pipe. What do you remember? Um, uh, hold on again. He, he said you could see yourself in the dream. Me? Uh -huh. But in general, it was a refracting thing, right? Are you asking me? <laughs> no, this guy, he keeps like, he, I don't know, he's not all there. He's old. Connection lost. He's just going to say, I don't know again. I fucking slap him. 
It's just I think, like, am it's I back? Dial up sounds. You're back. You never oh, left. I didn't know you asked. No, I, I didn't hear yeah. anything you guys were saying. What, what, what oh. did you ask me? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I referenced that he said you could see yourself in the dream in reference to refractions. Oh, uh, he will nod at that. Indeed. It is one of the few places where one might meet one's <laughs> selves. So, is it possible that our also, past selves write are... that down because that's very important. What part of it? Well, we've said it three times now. I'm just hoping someone remembers. That you can uh, meet yourself in the dream if you have a refracted soul. Mm. So, what if I... Oh, now you have to. <laughs> God damn it. If... <laughs> Let's go take You're back. maps. Am I back? Yes. No. Yes. All right. Please continue. What if I use this thing from the dream to talk to myself as like a reagent? I am no dream weaver. I am no dream walker. But perhaps you can. Uh, which one of us is the most refracted? It will point towards guy. <laughs> Out of character, I knew that. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, again, I ask, is it sexually transmitted? Because I've had many people in me. Shh. Hey, do you Shoot even me. sleep? I'm sorry. Do you sleep? Oh, me, um... Yeah. 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 Sure. Uh, Scrubble will give him. People, like I'm saying, yeah. Scrubble will give him the bandage. Next time you sleep, wear this over your eyes. Uh, what are these? This is, uh, either Wode or Owen's thing. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> they gave it to me when I was dead. Back oh, when. He... Yeah. All right. Uh, do you guys want to take a nap? We've kind of, you know, it's been a long day. No, I just feel like if you're the most refracted soul, then perhaps you can learn something that might be useful to us. All right. Okay. Look, take care of it. The guy who gave it to me was pretty nice. All right, but what, what if it's like I'm standing in an auditorium and they're all just shouting at me? N seduce them. <laughs> oh, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got tons of questions, man. So someone else, if they want to ask, ask now. I mean, most of this knowledge is just kind of going over my head. I get like a partial understanding. See, I'm old, so I get to nod my head and everyone thinks I'm understanding. How so many? I'm I mean, doing that. We've been here for a while. Uh, how many years you got left, bird? Two seconds. food. Yeah. OK. All right. Keep going. I'll, I'll be right back. Two seconds. OK. It's got two seconds left. Feels bad. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. He's it was fun, folks. Dead. It, I think I've asked him everything I want to, but that might be because. <laughs> I think I'm afraid to keep asking questions because I think he's might he might just die. But yeah, no, I'm really it's only practicalities. Like, how do we? Uh, let's go find this stuff and then get the fuck off this whale. It's, it's I would like you to ask get off about this whale. that's purple. Like oh, these chairs. Right. Weird. You know, if you think about it, we're currently floating through the Astral Sea on everyone else's brain juices. Yeah. Even ours. I'm I just back. Manif I manifested a sexy lady somewhere in town. Oh. Do you have any, like, saucy vampire lore? Is it because there were some people in town saying this is where the first vampire might have come from and you know I drank from the whale and I got fat and I was really disappointed and I met a vampire and he wouldn't admit it and I was so frustrated but I opened up to him and I felt a lot better. This is not where the first vampire is from. But I could tell you where that is if you wish. It's, it's always Dalton, isn't it? No. The first oh. vampire, it is said, came from the world known as Baba Yaga. Uh, is 
that in another nebula? Yes. Oh. So, our refracted selves, can they still be alive? As long as the soul remains so, they never are truly gone. But I mean, in their mortal shell, like, do we, can we exist at the same time? Yes. That is what makes a refracted soul so powerful. Oh. What, what happens if two of them meet in the flesh? That I cannot tell you. I do not know. But I have a theory. Pause for effect. <laughs> and then yeah, will... take a bite of that. And then he will say, I believe that if two refracted souls were to meet, they would combine. I'm ready for the Sir Megazord. <laughs> <laughs> Which, who would you the head? I'll form the head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be laughing at that for like a week. <laughs> there, there's so many fucking parts. I will be the fucking pinky. Durgol, <laughs> the left pinky man of a different dur. I want to be I want to be clear. I have I have had custom art made for this moment for a long time. Pretty much ever since uh, the end of Glaeus. Oh, I already have a plan for your fused form, sir, and I have yeah. the art for it already. Uh huh. What a hideous amalgamation of forty well, characters! I'm probably gonna redo the art, but. Oh. Excuse, excuse me, sir. Uh, what can you tell us about the maelstrom that we have to go into? Only that it is memory. Memory without purpose, without ordering. It is a swirling storm. So, wait, hold on. So, it's like, it's everyone's like the, memory. It's like the cast off nonsense from everyone on Quirk. Yes. Oh. I feel like there was a mushroom that did that once. <laughs> but we just take some psychedelics and kind of zone the whole thing out. But you see, it is within that runoff of memory where the strangest memories can be found. Oh. Uh, look, hey, I don't know how to thank you. I feel like I've realized my life's purpose, or at least I started to. Thanks. I say you're welcome. There is no need for thanks. I serve my purpose, as will you. There will be time of thanks when the enemy is defeated. Also, I, I won't be able to contact the dream here, will I? Because we're in Quirg. The dream is a place that connects us all. Yeah. Oh, that's convenient. But yeah. then wouldn't we be able to pray to Wode and Own? Yeah, maybe. Look, you better say thanks because my ancestors literally sacrificed themselves so that that could happen. Theoretically, mine did too. No, uh, yeah, yeah, no right. they, it was gnomes that did it. Oh. Well, yeah. I might be a refracted gnome. You might be. Maybe Can I happened. take a nap? <laughs> Do you have like a, a super rich mansion guy bed somewhere with a whole bunch of ladies? How about this? How about this? How about uh, we, the four of us go shopping and you would like meditate sleep here and see if you oh, can yeah. get to it. That sounds like a good use of time. Yeah, all right. Do you need anything? Um, Big Pipe gets a list out as he is the bank. Ask if they have <laughs> any sort of rare blood. I, I don't think that they will, but uh, I'm just writing know, this down. Has to be yeah, rare or... blood. It any particular any particular you. race or anything? The rarer, the better. The, the weirder, the more powerful. Like if a lich okay. came through town and they just had a, a bag of his blood. Oh, hold on. That just be or... I don't know. Lich blood. Uh, excuse me, you're a wizard, right? He's talking. I am. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to be looking for some magical things in town, and I'm curious about which shop is the best and 
not going to rip us off, but also if you have anything that maybe we can buy from you. Also, I would rather never see that crazy spider lady ever again. Oh, yeah, that too. I've seen her without clothes, and I'd want to rip my eyes out if they weren't already. Yeah. Oh, dragon blood. That's the one. Dragon. <laughs> I, get, I go back to writing dragon blood. <laughs> hmm. The church can provide requisition, as I am in good standing. Metronome is... Kind. Would you like the teeth in exchange? Metronome does not require payment, but she will expect tithing. Uh. So we gotta give her teeth. <laughs> Writes down, quote, <laughs> free, end quote. Okay, we'll, we'll go speak with her. Uh, I have a couple of ideas as to what I want. We ended up collecting a lot of teeth in that place as a result of some accidents that happened. I'm... Have don't. You... Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> it, it ended up... Look, I'm just saying, she's about to get a fat tithe. <laughs> Scrumpo. What? Come on. Perhaps it is what? best that you all remain here and I send servants to purchase these <laughs> items for you. I, you know what? That's That, that would be a I grand idea, right. actually. I, I didn't know you had people. Besides, hey. you should be nearby when your friend goes on his journey. Yes. This is probably also a good thing. I did have one question. Uh, the crazy spider lady did have it like a, a hand and a leg of sail. Potentially have any other like robotic parts that I could just shove inside my body? I hate my flesh. <laughs> wow, do you want to do you want to talk about that? <laughs> it's kind of been a thing ever since I put this hat on. I'm like, wow, this is a really nice hat. My eyes, I never really need to ever blink. I'll be I mean, like I'm if not... I just replace the the rest. Me and Huck have great hats, but you know, it doesn't matter yeah. if we hate ourselves. Yeah, I kind of like I like it's my shirt. It's not a hat, it's on. my head. It's the upper part of my I, I like knock on my head. Sure. I mean, it's just a real fancy hat if you think about it. It's not a hat. Well, let me ask you this. Did you you go on top to of it your head? Yeah. It is my head. Well, I consider this hat a part of my shelf, too. <laughs> Big pipe face palms. Anyway. And then looks at Arendelle. It, anyway, if you happen to have any other parts, just let me know. We have good money. Or I guess tithe at this point. I shall see what A my car? servants can do. What? What are you doing? Uh, just, I'm gonna... The car is gonna ritual cast uh, Augury and try to talk to Quirg. Oh! When, whenever, whenever they're done. Oh. Okay. Oh, boy. You're about to get brain blasted. <laughs> I mean, I want, I want Guy to go on his venture. Oh, he's going to, but first, you're going to go on one little guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my I god. I'm going to go pee, bear back. I'm so okay. hungry. I mean, we can hungry keep just, worms. like, talking the shit if you just want to keep shoving food in your mouth. I just got to eat a little bit. No, what you having? Hungry for what? Uh, <sighs> some chicken nuggets, bro. Mmm, chicken nuggies. Mm, it does sound really good, actually. I got them nuggies, bro. <laughs> Where from? Mickey D's. <laughs> Low tier nuggies, but still nuggies. I don't fucking care, dude. I'm hungry. Just want food. You know how you have the like, specific action, actions in your world that are always evil? Yeah. In my world, it's ordering McDonald's. And I know I've mentioned this, but. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Okay. Just want to know. I think you're evil. McDonald's okay. can hit the spot sometimes. I mean, it can, but it's like a it's it's like a feel bad kind of kind of deal. It's like you eat it, you enjoy it, and then you feel like shit like almost immediately after. Yep. 
Also, uh, any roleplay with Metronome is going to have to take place without a token, because I just found out that it's prohibited art, so I had to delete the token. Prohibited? Yeah. Prohibited? I couldn't find the source when I first used it, but I don't want to break any hey. rules. Hey, guy. H hello? Why don't we cut that bandage in half and go in together? Wait, we could bring Big Pipe with us, too. Will that if you not... guys snuggle really, really close, you don't have to cut it. I, I, I have to be honest, I'm quite nervous, and I'm worried this will kill me. Um, What? Look, the dream's my holy place, you'll be fine. Look, I even went there recently. When, and, and... I, when I fucking died. <laughs> well, I mean, if we die yeah. again, we'll just, we'll just be there. As, like I said, I'm picturing an auditorium where all the seats are filled, packed, 20,000 people, and I'm the bard down in the middle, ready to sing, but they're all me, and they're judging me, and one's my mom, and one's my dad. <laughs> but they're still you? Yes, and they expect the most from me. Yes, all right, true. let's just let Guy do it. I'm afraid of what'll happen to that thing if we cut it, actually. It, that, that as well. It's kind of our only thing. Can I even place it on my eyes? Oh yeah, you've got like goggles. They're not yeah. goggles. I'll tell you Spectacles. this. I, I may not have a sexually transmitted shoulder, whatever it is, but uh, whatever you need from me to get this job done, I'm I'll be here for you. Oh, that me. makes so much. I'm sorry, wait, but wait, I gave him a soul during the big shake. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's there you go. And Wait, really, aren't me. all of our souls sexually transmitted? I mean, if you get technical. Yeah, you really got to think about it, but I guess you're kind of right. Hey, life, life is a sexually transmitted disease. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, Huck, if you're feeling <laughs> left out, there's, there's enough of me to go around. Yeah, well, listen, I got to tell you once again, equine or decline. Sorry about that. Look, I have a question. Did he say how... Souls are refracted to begin with. I don't think he did. I think I asked and he said, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's either a lot of I don't know or cough up blood. Well, look. Look, Huck. If we can do it, so can you, man. <laughs> uh, uh, I, wa I watched the way you tore that thing apart. You stood before it and didn't back down. Even when it impaled you against a wall. It's all part of the job. I'm just protecting my fridge. What if we just shake him very violently? Will that refract him? I mean, you could try it. I place well, my hands naked. on his shoulders. <laughs> I heard there was I word of polymorph. If also, could turn me into a, an equine. The next question: We need to find a safe place for that vial, like an actually safe place. That is that is true. I don't think it's anywhere on here, though. I mean, like a container that's safer than a pouch. I mean, I. He has hmm. a good point. I don't. I mean, which one of us would be the best to carry it? I mean, I could. Put it in the bag of holding for now. Wait, no, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> they, those are, it's a demi plane inside of the bag. I don't know what'll happen, is what I mean. Can it take over the plane of holding? Well, I think each bag has its own demi plane. But, uh, I'm honestly, it's really beyond my scope of understanding of the universe. How those demi planes interact with other demi planes? I take it we can't just put it in a box and then bury it in the desert when we get back. I mean, we, we, we might be able to, or at least beneath leave, right? If we're all there. Imagine that we all found that when we started this journey. Not good. Dead. Yeah, we'd be super dead. One of us would have drank it. Yeah, probably guy. Yeah. <laughs> he did drink. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, I could just drink out it of again. character. You find a vial. What do you do with it? I drink it. <laughs> okay, so let's give our list to the servant, and uh, guy can go on his spirit journey to the dream. Also, say what up to Chook, Chook for me. Also, uh, say what up to Owen and Wood for me. We're kind of best <clears> friends. <throat> All right. Nice. All right. 
Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. I only what did, one... what, Sorry. Go what on. did what did you need, Huck, for shopping? Oh well, uh, just something you know. Uh, to keep me alive would be a little longer. Be nice, like uh, potions or healing or. I mean, they don't really shell magic things around here, do they? Like, uh, you know, magic armor, magic weapons. I, yeah, I, I think we get Huck a magic, oh, you like pole arms. Well, I got one. I got one of those. Don't worry about that. You don't want to replace that? Listen, Scrumpo. <laughs> this thing's been here for me an awful long time. I couldn't betray it like that. Isn't that right, Big Iron? And I, I pull out Big Iron and look at it and sort of, like, make it nod. Like, <laughs> why, don't, why don't you ask that lady to, <clears throat> or the wizard, to make it magical? Yeah, I'm not going to ask that lady anything. Look, she's really sexy, and I think she's nice, too. Mm, agree to disagree. Okay, but ask the wizard to do it. Maybe I can do something about that. She I'm writing this. I'm writing this whole list down. Uh, what okay. do you need, Scrumpro, besides clothes? I I want uh, a set of regal-looking clothing, and also uh, something to make me more dexterous. That's it. That's all I want. And, well, if there's a if there's a magical rapier, I want to buy that. Oh, actually, no, a magical rapier or dagger. That's all. The, but it, but the bracers. I just put the bracers down. I like my daggers. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Are we guys ready to go? Yeah. Okay. So I um. Wait. Why is guy on the ticket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on a journey. Uh, who would I give this list to? I made an actual list. <clears throat> uh. A servant will come by and grab it. I didn't order anything. Well, hold Nobody's on. I'm, get, I'm, still, I'm still getting everyone's orders. Oh, okay. Then he won't do that. Uh, uh, guy, what would you... What, what do you need? Um, A rare oh, blood. Wait, actually, wait, no, never mind. I already asked you. The dragon blood. I, get... I, I ignore him. Medium armor. <laughs> uh, hug, I could use... A if, boyfriend. Some, if there's magical uh, tobacco... Or something I could put in this. He holds up his pipe. I haven't really had a good smoke in a while, so... Um... That's all, really. I mean, maybe, you know, crystals? I don't know how much the crystals... I can't remember. But, you know, if we're going to go on a long journey and we can't sleep our powers back, some crystals would be good. Uh... You know, that's it. That's it for me. Uh, no armor, weapons, anything? I, I, I'm pretty good. The way, you know... I've got this, this, he pulls out the scimitar. This is great. I like it. And the shield is good. So, <coughs> I mean, if you see anything really interesting. Oh, one more thing. Big pipe. Ask them to get me some of that, uh, that water spit. Uh, okay. Writing this down. Like I'm talking like 30 vials of the spit. Or a hundred. Two hundred. Okay. He puts down a two. <laughs> okay. Where's uh, Arendelle? Uh, Arendelle went to go uh, purchase things. For you oh okay so this is exactly how he wrote the list for the servant all right let me see <laughs> all right <laughs> that good <laughs> shit <laughs> got it all right yeah all righty everyone gonna sit around or rather okay is everybody ready for for a guy's excursion into the dream realm? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of want some scotch, but no. No. <laughs> I kind of want some scotch. I can't sleep if you don't all start chanting. <laughs> uh, Ikar, Ikar comes over. 
I don't really sing, but he starts whistling like bird whistling. Big Pipe Scrub pulls out the scepter. I can help you go to sleep. The Scrubbo stands on his tiptoes and puts a hand on Guy's arm. Ooh. Uh, uh, you'd like a glass of warm milk or something? Uh, no, just uh, chanting the names of the old gods. <laughs> <laughs> The deep ones. A lock and I, a lock and I, a lock and I, a lock and I. doing it for me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, can Huckle start hand boning softly? <laughs> I just, that's, that's doing it for me. <laughs> god. All right. Oh yeah, where's she going to brain blast, uh, Joe? Uh, I'm going to do this first. Okay. Kind of got a lot to go over. All righty. Well, time is upon us. Time for Stir to meet all 50 of his characters. Time to roleplay all 50. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. All right, as you put the bandages over your eyes, and there is the swirling essence of Chook. Guy begins to fall asleep. And as he does so, everyone is enveloped by the swirling essence of the dream. And you are all taken to the dream realm. Nice. Whoa. One moment, please. Oh. Clap. Clap. <laughs> it's Florida. <laughs> <laughs> not nearly enough bath salts actually the ground looks like bath salts we're good dude wait we're all here yeah oh shit yeah it looks like this landmass has a pp <laughs> all right i linked you guys some uh ambience Ambion? Ambion? i feel at peace finally asleep oh uh, fuck you all here <laughs> yeah sorry I want yeah. escape. This is where I ended up when I died. Weird. One time I tried some peyote, it looked a lot like this. <laughs> Look, there's a pond up ahead, and that's where I met Chook. Stop. When you get to here, you all start to walk. And as you walk together, you will notice that Guy and Scrumpo begin to shift and change. <laughs> they begin to reflect to different pieces of themselves. You will see shadows walking within shadows. Their, eye, their outlines shifting and changing. Their faces melting together. And you will instead see... Still Scrumpo and Guy, but their shadows are vibrating. Almost as if many of them are walking in the same space, but it is slightly delayed, creating an after-image effect. Big Pipe has the shadow of a large armored man that walks behind him. Huckleberry and Akar have no such effect. And when you walk to this point, the area begins to break apart, reality shifting and shattering. You boys Animal. all right? Animal uh, people, man. Animal, Animal fine. It's just then there's probably multiple sons or something. Your well, journey brings you to a new place. As you step through a strange road before you, it shatters, and instead you find yourself here. Uh, where are 
we? Hang on, I'm feeling a little weird about this. Is this a... a, a I think we're in a car. Tree. Is this the same jungle? I don't know, is it? Yes. Yeah. Well, that, oh. beat, that beats falling down for miles, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um... Time to, to go? What the what a beautiful rock! Is this just uh, regular water? Yes. Huh. Somehow, if I think somehow we have gone to the maelstrom through the dream realm. Is this it, rock me? No. It, the guy said that the dream realm is like the live stream and that it's universal. So we're accessing the maelstrom as a result of interacting with everyone else's dreams. All right. There was a statue down here, right? That's what we wanted. Wait, is this rock the statue, but it hadn't been carved yet? I, uh, All right. I mean, here and against this waterfall, you see a strange statue. Oh. Statue, everyone. As you get closer, Guy falls to the ground. His form begins to shift and change. Shift and change. And then he is no longer Guy. Ooh, uh... You all right there? You, you know, you might... Uh... Guy? Guy? S sorry, this shit is taking forever to low. Just give me a second. Uh, no problem. I'm I'm gonna wait to figure out who I am. <laughs> and this is the person you see instead. Fuck. Ooh. Oh shit. I don't remember uh, how his voice went. Uh. It was. Uh, it was like this. It was like um. It was like Alfredo Bomb, but a little more non-cowardly. I, I thought he was just like hmm, triumphant paladin-y. Hey yeah. guys, how's it going? Not, yeah, no, uh, like was he? I remember him being more sassy. Uh, sassy paladin is what I remembered. But go ahead. Uh, hello, everyone. What brings uh, you to the dream? I'm... Who are you and where's guy? That's one Actually, of his refractions. From my perspective, do do I know that I'm for that I'm dead? Like, what's my what's give me my motivation for the the scene? You know only what Alexander would know. The last thing that you remember is your own death. Damn. Would I remember my corrupted body? Yes. And you also remember Damn. the words spoken by Discord. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Guy, uh, <laughs> sir, why don't you tell them how Alexander died? I was telling a story on my stream, uh, not that long ago, that, uh, our group traveled to Glass. we got established, we only made it a couple levels, we weren't very powerful, and we got involved in this whole, kind of the parallel to what the Seven is. Glass has its own, the Seven, in a way, and that was the Stranger, and that path that we went down. Yep. Um... And then we entered a temple that looked much like this one. There was a whole room and we opened a portal to a, the shadow fell, which we did not know at the time. And there was a dark, sinister enemy within the portal. And Alexander saw it and ran into it. And then Arcadum says he swats you away like a fly and I was dead. <laughs> and then the final boss of that campaign was Alexander's corrupted body fighting everyone 1v5. Yep. I, I vaguely remember not much. What what am I doing here? Well, well that's you're a good question. You're standing where our friend was. What does that mean? What does anything mean, really? I mean, it, uh, you could be our friend eventually, but we don't know you yet. You're you're where our uh, our companion guy was standing. Now he's not there. Well, what became of my friends? I tried to kill them. Doesn't sound like you're a very good friend, then. I was a great friend. I taught them 
many are things <laughs> largely dealing with the perennial area. That kind of flower? <laughs> if you guys don't know <laughs> why I'm here, I surely don't. Do you know who we are? Can I sense Scrumpo's refraction? You don't see Scrumpo. You see Azalon. <gasps> of course, old friend, you've made it so long, Azalon. And with that, the image of Scrumpo shatters <clears throat> like a pane of glass. And there stands Azalon, Archmage of Glaeus, and the master of Camp Last Stand. All right, what the hell is going on here? Uh, um, the, the I like the glasses. My friend. <laughs> we have to do like the, the bro handshake, clasp hands, <laughs> shoulder bump into each other. It's been, been so long. Predator. Uh, Azalon hugs Alexander. We haven't been this close since we were both inside of a snake. Um, I'm a little confused uh, here. Yeah, yeah me Carl. too. You are always the smart one, Aslan. What the hell is going on? I think that this is our memory. And, <laughs> I didn't explain anything. I'm tearing up a little bit. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, uh, just to just review, just to review, so you know, so you know, Jesse, about what you actually know. Um, Azalon has all his memories from all the things that you had done in Glaeus. You know uh, the events of Azalon's Chosen. You know the excerpt that I sent you about the Trials of Tear and his purpose within the Trials of Tear. Yeah, I gotta pull that up. Hang on. Yep, and you also know uh, what Azalon is currently doing. Uh, he had just finished uh, traveling to the Planar Edges, uh, dealing with a swath of demons. Uh, my friend. We had to kill you. As long as crying, I guess. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not, it's not your fault. I think I killed myself. No. You... Please at least tell me Lumneris is a true god. You know very well, friend, that Lumneris is not a real god. <laughs> Oh, but my How pamphlets. However, in Alexandria, the city that we named after you, there are many a shrine. Should have been the Neris. Though I thank you for honoring me. We tried to find a way to return you, but you had been corrupted. That is why I'm so confused. How am I whole? W what is this? We are in the dream. I think. <laughs> what I mean to say is, is I'm alive and you are not and that brings, brings me great pain and I think furthermore that I have some things to share with you all um well mechanical question yeah I don't recognize them, right? Well, I mean, except for Alexander. You only know Alexander. You know not Big Pipe. You know not Huckleberry. And you know not Ikar. Who are all of you? Uh, <clears throat> Big Pipe, that's Huck, and that's Ikar. Um, the follow-up question, does Azalon know their names? Yes, you have Scrumpo's memories. Okay. 
It's just uh, basically, whereas everything else has always been kind of a subconscious thing of your own personal meta that you know, that is supposed to represent the other characters that you have played, subtly guiding and hinting at what you should do. Uh, and it's basically that meta is treated as an in-canon thing. So right now, Aslan is the active one, and Scrumpo is but the whisper in the back of your mind. <laughs> Uh, follow-up question. Can I see Guy in Alexander? You see, as Azalon, you see him, but you know that he is also Guy. Okay. Sorry, we're getting into some fucking pseudo-time travel shit. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to be clear. What are the rules? <laughs> My friends... You are all the Lords of Flowing Water and the uh, Regent Lords of Leave. Yes. Yes. Correct. Yeah, like, That'd be like correct, yeah. Right oh, I'm, gonna agree, I'm gonna agree, Alexander. What Legend. news, what news do you, oh, first of all, my name is Azalon Caltalonis, and I am the Lord of the White Spire of Glaeus. Ooh, fancy. I know about you, but I do not have any recent news from Leave. Uh, about, yeah, yeah, about, okay, so about that, we kind of established Leave and then left. Yeah, we left we, Leave. We yeah, leave. We left In leaving leave. leave, we left. Pardon? What do you mean you left? Well, we were there and then we weren't. How? There was a fireball. A fireball? And then you we teleported are... to a whale. Forgive me, friends. Are you all dead? Um, I mean, it's a distinct possibility, but so far nothing has convinced us that we are. It could be a really crazy dream, but for all intents and purposes, I'm pretty sure that we're alive and that I fireballed something that sent all of us to a giant whale. We've uh, uh, come pretty close, but I think we are alive at the present situation. Aslan will rub one temple uh, and then clear his throat. I think I am beginning to understand. I'm hearing whispers of sorts and it brings me great joy to finally meet all of you. Now... That was bad. I think it's nice to meet you. Yeah, we're uh, much obliged. We are allies in the Prime Material Plane. Worry not. <laughs> However, uh, I ask that the person with the best memory uh, listen to what I have to say. I've been occupied elsewhere and have been unable to share what I know and so it seems relevant that if I'm not able to rendezvous, so to speak, with the camp that I've had established, and I use the word camp loosely, of course, the Labyrinth of Tyre needs to be excavated, and I need this information to be passed. However, due to the damage done uh, by who knows, and he'll look. <laughs> <laughs> It's not convenient for me to share that information as it once was. I didn't do anything. Okay. Take some notes, friend. Big Pipe gets his notepad out. Uh, Huck also gets his notepad out. Why do you have a notepad? You can't even write. What? I got that. Well, this should I just say we're back up. You know, what if uh, your notes get destroyed? Then I got to have a backup too. Can, oh, I have a, I have like this revelation. Can you trace? <laughs> you may not understand what you're writing, but you can make a copy. I mean, I just, I understand everything that I write. Let's just take the notes. I'll take a backup copy. Don't worry about it. Okay. Silence. Listen to me. I'm not quite sure how long I'll have to say this. Do you all know the Herald? Oh, we're not supposed to say that name, but yeah. Well, I know a Herald. You can say the Herald. You know of it. Yeah. 
And do you know yeah. of Glaeus? Um. By association, a, a little bit. Uh, uh, the, the think show? I, I, I could, me and Scrumpo will explain it to you all later. It, it's a continent across the Abyssal Sea. Okay. Right, okay, right, geography, right, got it. It... Pardon me, I... This is extremely difficult for me because in the back of my mind, I can hear the most incessant voice that is con that is screaming to be let out and is contradicting what I need to share with you. I feel like we can sort of relate to that. I shall tell them the truths of life. Very well. Be kind to your neighbor. Oh, if someone is in a relationship they do not want to be in, step in, set it right. <laughs> yes, Praise wait. Limnaris. Should I, should I Praise should I Limnaris? Writing, should I be writing that no. down? Yes. <laughs> you are all the lords of flowing water. Right? I have Lord flowing water. And the lord of flowing water was a scarab lord. Yes. Sure. Do you lot know what a scarab lord is? Yeah, it's sort of like a beetle duke. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> a scarab lord is an ancient elven lord. Yeah, right. Yes. And you have inherited one's essence. You understand that, right? The, yeah. The, yeah, I've yeah. got it. Not the doing a great job of it, but yeah, we get it. The severity of that and all of the repercussions that come with that. Yeah, the repercussions. <laughs> <laughs> something tells something tells me that you don't understand. Um. Well, we m no, 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 not a clue. Not a, I have not a, a allow me to issue a warning. Then do not deal with any elves that speak to you of the glory of nations past. Moving forward with leave, and I advise that you do not make any ties with such people as their interest lies solely in destroying what it is has been rebuilt be it ley lines or even the arcane focus that powers Kalkatesh so moving forward if there is one thing that you can do as you lay upon the tomb of a lord of flowing water as their soul or their essence at least inhabits your bodies you must not deal with any of them and if possible be rid of them big pipe is writing these notes down and as and for this whole thing he kind of put in quotation marks fuck the old ways yeah sure i mean if you know scrampo you know he's he's he hates elves so i think we'll be all right there yes i i'm hearing that right now in fact he's screaming uh Listen, oh, I do not fully grasp what's happening here. I do not know why I hear these voices in my head when I typically do not. However, I believe, despite your ignorance, pardon my word, I didn't, I don't mean to offend, that you lot seem to have a good collective head on your shoulders, yes? Uh, yeah. yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, sure. So when you say that you left to leave, where did you go? You said Quirk? Sure, yeah, Space yeah. Whale. Yeah, we're oh. on a giant Space Whale. And when Azalon says Quirk, the waterfall parts. The statue of the stranger emanates a blackened aura. It parcels out, sweeping and something is conjured from the ichor within. Is this supposed to do that? What is conjured before you is a mass of roiling flesh that speaks with the voices of several children. Uh, nice. Uh, gross. 
That's what my kids sound like. Oh. Uh. This. Powder? This is Vorb. The product of a curse uh, rendered forth by some, uh, let us say, misguided alchemy. <laughs> Someplace in Ord, I believe? Hmm. What are you doing here? Big Pipe will freeze upon seeing a pile of children crying out, screaming for help. Oh, for, yeah. for Big Pipe will see the children within in their truest forms. Those mistreated by an awful man, forgotten by those who could not be bothered with such convenience. First it began as a quiet whisper, and then the visage of Big Pipe shatters. And there instead stands the demon. Uh. <laughs> hey, uh. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, uh, listen. Uh, this is great and all. Hey, Carl, sidebar? Uh. Yeah, I never did the voice for the actual demon, so that's all, that's all Arcadum. I don't understand anything. The creature will then begin to calm itself and it will wield a bastard sword above its head. The light from the weapon will cascade over Vorb. Kairos's promise is upkept. The shining light of Jordan's memory washes over Vorb. And instead, Another stands in place. Ashley, if you want, you can get in here. <laughs> oh, shit. This is a big crossover. I like it. Hello? Hey. And there, instead, stands a young woman with a serious face, bespectacled, and wearing a straw hat. And Aslan will recognize her. Alexander. You recall Vorb, yes? Of course. I loved the little boy. Yes, we all did. It, but it, it, it was not just... A, a, it was multiple... Uh, not creatures, pardon me. I don't know. As I always um, said, it was going hello? through puberty. It, it, um, I'm, I'm right here, guys. <gasps> Hello, is that a Alexander. You're alive. What is uh, happening? Uh, no, I'm not alive. Uh, I think everyone's what? visiting me in, in my deathbed. I, I don't. I'm trying to piece it together. But you look great. I always knew one day <laughs> you would something great would crawl out of that pile of goop. Not that the goop wasn't bad. She was cleansed by the ley line, or rather a. Uh, I suppose a life tree and her old form split apart <laughs> yeah yeah I remember it was very traumatic why are we going over this how are you Rath oh uh, yeah, I'm really good um, who, who are these people can somebody explain these are the I... lords of flowing water yeah I just Hi. I like your hat <laughs> oh wow uh, I like yours too I uh, just, there's just this, there's a vibe going on here. I really, really top job. <laughs> uh, that's Huck. good, I guess. Take the good part out of this. Huck doesn't say anything, but takes out a cigar and lights it up and just takes a huge <laughs> inhale from it. <laughs> Is there anyone special in your life? Alexander. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I, have not, I was stopping you. <laughs> oh, oh! I was just worried that maybe she wasn't being taken care of, that you might look aside and forget her, and she has a boyfriend that, you know, isn't right for her. She is such a special young girl. Alexander. Alexander. She can take, she can take care of herself. You haven't changed at all. Oh, let me hug you. All right. She hugs him. Wrath moves in for the hug, and as she moves closer, Something happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm dead again. <laughs> no! <laughs> he 
it as, turns to bone. As you God. as you begin to to hug, you notice that the three of your hands have an, a strange mark of a sigil on them that they did not have before. Neither of you recognize them. Okay, very normal. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. That was Do a lot be alarmed. happening. I believe we. Well, first off. Are you, and pardon me for not checking in regularly, I am extremely busy, but- oh, I know. And we all know how important you are. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> you, yes, will see, listening. you will see that the symbols begin to glow the closer your hands are together. Raffle snatch your hands back and back away. Huh. What I mean to say is don't be alarmed. However, I trust you're still alive, yes? You've told me that a thousand times, Azalon, and every time you say that, something terrible happens. I feel at peace here. <laughs> she eyeballs like the giant man with the golden face and the centaur and the <laughs> bird, and she just nods. Mm-hmm. Yes, and the dead guy. Mm-hmm. This is his memory. Or a memory, I suppose. It's been established that his last memory was uh, when we did battle with him. You all killed me. No, don't hold it against you. It's fine. It's fine. It's just. It's a it's rough memory. Oddly were enough. You conscious during that? Did, uh, did you know what we were doing to you? You fought well. Oh, no. Oddly enough, you believe you recognize the symbol, but you would need to see it made whole. Who? Azalon. L Let us join hands. Fine, Dad. Or I suppose, uh, let's put them side by side. He reluctantly does. Yeah, Azalon sticks his hand down. Alexander? Yep. Okay. As the three of you place your hands together, it will spo it will form a special sign. But there is a fourth piece missing. Until the spectral visage of a woman stands beside Azalon. Her face is obscured, and it is like the breath of freshest air. As the fourth piece is completed. And there stands the symbol of the Cardinal. There is a flash as the visage of Azalon, Alexander, Wrath, and the spectral woman disappear. And there, implanted in the ground, is a great sword made of stone with a single green line of magical energy. Icar grabs Huck's hand. I, I think uh, that's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> are we, is this right? I think. Uh, okay. it, is this right? I don't, want to I don't want to squeeze too hard. You got hollow bones. Scrimpo was handsome. I would. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I put what? a hand on Scrumpo's shoulder. It's okay. I know. I feel so dirty. I was joking about it before. It's okay. I think he hated elves too. <laughs> yeah, oh, it did yeah, sound definitely. Like that. Is everybody back to themselves now, or what? Yeah, can I stop holding Huck's hand, or...? Yes. Well, it's kind of nice. I mean, you don't have it's to It's not terrible. It. No, it's not the worst thing that could happen. That guy, guy was a bigger weirder than me. Guy. Yeah? That's the stranger's sword. It is. What? Pick it up. <laughs> why, do, why do I have to pick it up? You've got the bandana on. All right, then. Pick up the sword. As your hand grasps the blade, it will shatter and will instead take its place as its true form. A very important item. <laughs> it, <laughs> just prefacing it. I thought that was the name. Leave it there. Leave it there. Don't go any further. It is a, uh, it is a shard of green light. For now, you wield in your hand the soul of Tear. However, oh. the room begins to turn to a violet light. 
Oh, uh, purple uh -oh. shit, not good. Oh, we don't like uh, that. And to the west, the dream realm is shattered open, a gape, and a great beast descends upon you. And we will find out if you survive next time on the Shattered Crafts. Oh. oh, come on, at least let us look at it first. Negative. Dang oh. it! The car cast bless! And bring Azalon back. <laughs> Big pipe cast lesser elemental. Take, isn't that like a 10 minute cast time or something? Man, or one, one minute. minute. That was one good minute. times, man. That was good. It's good to see them again. Old friend. I wish I was more pro petty. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I got emotional. <laughs> All right, let's look at some fan art. Finish it up. Let's do exactly yeah. that. Yes. Thanks, Ashley. Yeah. Thanks, Ashley. Yeah, thank you. Also, bad news. I have to take next Sunday off. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? No. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's no. Wow, what a good upcoming session. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Raspberries. Do 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 do. Nobody gonna slam my jam. Oh man, it was good to see those characters again. It's simple. That just means the next session that we do is twice as long. Mm -hmm. All right. So clarification. Yeah. Um, if we can play Saturday, I can play, but not Sunday. Mm. Uh, Saturday, I have um session. Uh, session zero with a new group, and I also have um, Shadow of Tear. I'm kind of stacked that day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we got Big Pipe. We got somebody. Hell yeah. We got somebody Sweet. drawing yeah. uh, Heart City. Pretty sick. Well, that's oh, awesome. that's cool. I yeah. like that. Sick. Yeah, that that angle is kind of wild. That's a really cool, really cool angle. Yeah. This is uh, a group shot of the boys. Nice. Hey, it's the boys. I love it. Oh, they even got his little uh, deputy star on there. Yeah. Hell yeah. Your video game cover art. Whenever it wants to load. Come on. No. Come on. Come on. I'm thinking a Friday is also not possible. Uh. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, this one's good. I saw this before. Uh... That's cool. All right, here we go. We got some uh, gotcha art with uh, alternate skin beached whale big pipe. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, wow, my man's big packing. Big pipe and Mardi Gras. Hey. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, this <laughs> is fucking fireball. Beach. Is he bathing in stomach acid? I think yeah. so. Yes, I'm bathing <laughs> in stomach acid with a handful of teeth. Uh, beach episode... For oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Icar's fucking face is a move. Wigging out. <laughs> That's great. I I saw the I saw somebody do a beach episode of Huck where he had the swim trunks on the bottom part of the horse body and that made me laugh really hard. <laughs> uh, sexy guy. Oh they my all? god! Do you wish? Oh, dude, <laughs> a new artist. Look at a car. He's so cool. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Nice. Look at this man. A guy when his patience is running thin. So every time. So I'll <laughs> Clown faces. <laughs> Scattered clowns. <laughs> Scattered clowns, baby. Uh, Professor Huckleberry Drift, driving ed instructor for the gotcha stuff. Oh, wait, I want to see this. Alternate skin. Oh, that's sick! Nice. Professor <laughs> Huckleberry Drift. If you see me, then you know how to live in Tokyo. <laughs> My pre-stream predictions that's on so how the duel cool. between Big Pipe and Guy will go. <laughs> <laughs> the strike system was bullshit anyway. Oh, my God. Somebody drew... Female guy. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Oh wow, gal. Ooh. Holy Ooh. cannoli! That's Ooh. gal. 
Is hey, that my refracted that? art? Is that That's my... all my characters together? Dude, there's this... Okay, so this next artist, like, I love their style. They draw everybody like these chibi video game characters. This is fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Look at Guy, dude. He's so cool. Oh, that's dude, awful. he's about to throw down a Yu-Gi-Oh card and duel you. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> he's about to throw You've a card. You've activated my there. trap card. Oh my god, look at this car. I love this art style, dude. Holy that's shit. That's so cool. That's Big sick. ass wings. Bad ass. So cool. It's like, that's the, you have made a terrible mistake. A big so pipe. That is very Why wrong. don't you remember I can fly, stands? Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, more gotcha art of this is called cold blooded bed warmer guy alternate skin. <laughs> cold blooded bed warmer, dude. That's <laughs> amazing, dude. They are... That's only two star. <laughs> yeah, apparently. I don't know. Yeah, that's only two star, dude. Damn, I gotta get collecting. <laughs> Come is, now, is teeth the premium currency or the gimme currency in this Wait, it's all stir? Always has been, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, somebody made Violet Corrupted die. That's awesome. That's cool. Oh, cool. That's A meme template for guy. <laughs> 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 Ooh, look at that. Huckleberry right there. That's nice. Ooh, that's a nice that? mustache. That catches the mustache very well. Yeah, that mustache yeah. is alive. That's Dude, a yeah. <laughs> The old style big pipe. Oh, that's so yeah. sick. Yeah. Ooh, that's so cool. Also, I want to become I didn't... more of a robot already. I you're, must... you're, you're on your way. I must ditch the flesh. Yeah, you got like a unicron look there. Yeah, uh, just the head. Female big pipe. All right. <laughs> oh, Oh god, no, oh, no, please. My eyes. Don't do this. I'm waiting. Come on, I'm... load. What is going on? I'm not pogging yet. I'm holding. Hold for pog. Hold, Hold for pog! Gee, oh. what oh! Ooh. Jesus Christ. What if I hit it in here? I'm near the end of my life, trapped in a never-ending dental nightmare. <laughs> I don't even have teeth. <laughs> That's the weirdest haiku I've ever heard. I don't even have teeth. Uh, this is this is a this is very good. Grumpo's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like half hidden there. <laughs> yeah, he's just barely sticking up. Uh, somebody made female Scrumpo. Oh my god. Oh god, no. Baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's just a baby. Uh, uh, here's one for you. Oh my oh, god. Go. Oh. Oh. Bow, that's how you know it's a girl. Eyelashes and a bow. Wow. <laughs> Convincing. The Bradoshi is uh, pretty intense there. Very nice look. I like this Huckleberry style. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool! That's neat. That's sick. I love that. Yeehaw, I never looked this good in my life. He's even got little iron. <laughs> Guy nags the party. <laughs> nag, 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 nag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's happening. Yeah. Oh, wait. Nice. Yeah. Um, can I upload the notes that I took? I'll put them in the channel. Yes. yes. Okay, Please do, because I didn't take any notes. <laughs> The session was good because uh, uh, our group actually learned what's happening. <laughs> it's a lie told by the government. <laughs> uh, I I put I, there's some fan art included in my notes if you want to show them on if you want to show it on stream. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Why won't they say it back? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is there a return curse in this? I can't really <laughs> trying to figure it out. Put it back. Will we ever know what that curse does in Verum? Yeah. Could you tell us now, or do you want? To... Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Stop fucking shit up. Amulet <laughs> <laughs> of Framush. 
<laughs> oh wow, yeah, the Dexter. That's amazing. That's really good. Ugh. 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 We could be so powerful. <laughs> Cast clairvoyance on tooth. <laughs> <laughs> the poor whale. <laughs> it was Aww, made for me. This is my hole. <laughs> God, I love Enigma of Amigawa Fault memes. They're really, really great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh, dude, Accurate. Ashley drew Vorb again. Oh my oh, god. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Hell yeah. This what thing the... sloshed around with us for the it's campaign. Unicorn. Yeah, it was gross, dude. It was awesome. What specifically did Kairos do to Vorb anyway? Uh, it was just a representation of Vorb's transformation. Gotcha. Fate! <laughs> <laughs> Can't read yet. Books, yes, read. <laughs> <laughs> yep, books, love them. Can't get enough of them. Oh, this one's great. <laughs> <laughs> get you some diet blood. <laughs> I closed my eyes and it was dark and I couldn't see nothing because my eyes were closed. <laughs> my eyes were closed. <laughs> oh, my, another female scrumpo. Oh god. Eh, that's alright. Ooh. Uh, that's not bad. Somebody Scrumpy. somebody drew the metronome. Oh. Uh, so real oh. real quick, to be clear, uh most of the time when I use art, sometimes I forget or if I'm rushed like I was today. I always try to um image search the images and put the information in the label so that the artist is shown and I look for signatures. I was unable to do that with metronome and uh so that's why I had to remove it because Somebody brought it up, and I just didn't want to fucking be an asshole. So, get it. Uh, uh, female mic. If any, I was gonna say. Wait, I want to. I want to see. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Remember, you should really brush more, or you might summon a plaque demon. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what were you gonna say though? Oh, I was gonna say. I thought female hug would still have the mustache, but I do like that. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He might summon a plaque. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. The I boys didn't... at church. Lord dump round three. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Would Femhuck wear a bra like this or like this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see it was fated? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Fainted fireball! Man. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, so there's this old... Man, this guy. This is awesome. Hold on. Let me get, let me get them all together here. There's a... Uh, guy drew it in the old style. Like, with, like, actual pencil, it looks like. Oh, like tradition? Oh, shit. Oh, sick. Yo, that's sick, dude. That's fucking scrumpo, so dude. So much fucking awesome art. Dude, damn, that one's sick, dude. Yeah. Big pipe. Holy shit! Ooh, is that wow. wait, is that a vial of fireball? Yeah, and guy. <laughs> Everyone's cool, and he's like, "I'm such a wimp." <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fat. Kiss me, <laughs> JoJo, JoJo style huck. Oh, that's sick. I love it. Nice. That's is he so the stand cool. or the stand master? I don't know. You know, okay, so this is both kind of funny, stupid, gross, but also kind of touching. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot see mirrors. You did what? <laughs> All right, they drew the uh, lore giver as a sexy guy. <laughs> Whatever. Dump. Very accurate. 
I am Inu. I speak for the trees, and I'd like to tell you a few things, if I please. <laughs> Drowning people in lore. Okay. <laughs> oh, this one's awesome. It's... <laughs> 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 that's, that's a really good, good, a really good one, wow, dude. Wow, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I am Inu. I speak for the trees. <laughs> you know he was talking about me, right? Oh, God. You don't have enough of the characters on there for the Megazord. Amazing. <laughs> it's a start. <laughs> that's the begin. I like oh. my gruffest place, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that from Ashley? No, that's from Artificially Natural. Tap the crutches. Oops, all stir. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my skin. I have to ask. <laughs> I stabbed him. How many characters do you have, Stir? I kind of want, like, we have a week off, but I want to try and, like, make the official list as it feels like it keeps becoming relevant but it's uh, 20 to 30 it's a lot yeah i have to figure it out it's so beautiful <laughs> yes <laughs> okay you know what stir <laughs> you're getting the artist role hey uh <laughs> Stir did his own fan art, which is kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> this is what I look like. I'm Ooh. definitely buff. Ooh. 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 Oh my god, Mega Stir. Somebody did some black magic on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Cursed image, take it away. <laughs> Dude, you have to send that to like seven of your friends now, otherwise, you get seven curses. Oh my god, that's, oh, that's so cool. Pixel art. That's so cool. Ooh. Oh, damn! What? Yeah, that's, that's when you sick. blink. And guy kills seven. <laughs> Where the fuck are you all here? Sorry. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Let's see. I would like dragon's blood, a boyfriend. I would like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody made female Huck. Like. Yeah, we saw him. Oh, is it actually, no. actually female Huck or is it a, another meme? Oh no. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Dang. Meow. Oh my god. There she is. Put on Show some pants. Wildly, Show up. wildly ham bums. <laughs> 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 Buy me some fancy clothes. <laughs> oh yeah, we were gonna dress you up. Oh, I was waiting for this. It's time for I like As... Scrumpo's... <laughs> Aslan... I like Scrumpo's slab squatting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Aslan's first fan art. Amazing. Yeah. Hey! Nice. I'd say that's more accurate than uh, the drawing that we used for the token. Show the violet eye a mirror. Drank a bird man's violet blood. Uh, I miss Ronnie. Stab the translator. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. <laughs> if anything, I put up the caution tape to try and remedy the situation, but no. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Boon Boon Stir try to hold it together. Good to see you, old friend. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad, man. Oh, man. Questionable justice. Yeah. Yeah, take a sip of that. Infinity War is the most ambitious <laughs> crossover event in history. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's God. Not it's not a crossover yet. So, so, uh, one of the artists drew, um, your servant in the encampment while you're not there as yeah. Azalon, and he's like, I serve Lord Azalon now. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> is it a body pillow? It's a body yeah. pillow of Lord yeah. Azalon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very, uh, much, yeah. Such wow. Sorry, there's a lot, fellas. I'm trying to get through it. <laughs> so much. But just... Still scrolling. Accidentally scrolled up. So, I've got a question. What's up? 
Um, would Stir or I be able to relay to the other groups that Shattered Crowns has uh, Tear Soul? You'd like, be able. Would they, know, would they know? You would only be able to do that through uh, Azalon, and Stir will be able to do it if he is able to refract to the other characters. Because I specifically only gave him access to Alexander. Oh man, I was just thinking. Uh, I was expecting uh, the lizard guy. Fuck, I forget his name. Rakoth. 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 Or CEO, but no one liked her. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot about CEO. Yeah, see, no one liked her. I, I didn't forget about CEO, but she just wasn't there very long. Yeah. Rip. Uh, here's uh, here's <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up on this one. All right. Who's the gnome guy in the middle? Alfredo bomb. Did oh, we do that? That was that one shot. I thought you were in that. No. With oh, the only yeah. one shot we did together was Dick Hickam's day off. <laughs> Where's the monkey? <gasps> You'll always miss someone. Mr. Sprinkles. No. <laughs> oh my God. This one's got feels all over it. It's okay, friend. You fought well. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Oh. Yeah, he liter we literally had to kill one of our friends at the end. The three of them together, Pepe hands. Oh. All that white hair, dude. <laughs> We're getting old. Yep. All of Stir's character combined into one entity as it rises from the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it is I, the Herald. I'm going to sit here and Stir. tell you about all my characters until you're dead. <laughs> Dude, this one's awesome. Ooh. I like that. Ooh. That's nice. Ooh. And that's a good one to end it on right there. Feels bad, man. Wait, did you show did you show my, my art that I did? Oh not yet, not yet. Yeah, let me go. Let me catch Taller up. Than you. It's Huck's notes. Yeah, that's those are my notes that I took as Huck. That was a good. That was a good Aslan drawing, by the way. Whoever drew that, Huck, Huck uh, has has quadriceps. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> he's that strong. Oh, it's like pent pentaceps. Mm -hmm. All right. Listen, there's a method to his madness. Oh man, good session, guys. It's a good sesh. Good times. All right, I'm gonna say goodbye to chat. I'm gonna go raid somebody, and I'll be back. I'm sure you guys yeah. got questions. Yeah, I got. I have some clarifications I need. All right. Well, I'll be right back. All right, chat room. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for doing all that cool stuff. You guys are the best. Thank you for all the follows. Thank you for all the subs. You guys are awesome. Thank you for joining the Discord, uh, hanging out in the Reddit, doing all that stuff. Feels really good. Um, if you guys.